Hello. Welcome to Test Tuesday. Bang on time this week. Usually I'm never bang on time. I'm always doing some. Well, let me get the anchor link. This works. We know that one won't work, so just hang on. Might work for some people. I don't know. No sound. No sound. Is there any sound? Give me a second. Hello, hello. There is sound. So it's not me. Confuse me then, I had to check it myself. Right. Uh, Paul saying you're a bit up, David Elwood. Thank you very much. Thank you. Let me just get the pop out chat. Ooh. Let me see who's in. So we've got, let's start from the thing. We've got Ayla, Ozzy, Reef and Wibor. Nat, Vicky, Jurakka, Thomas. Oh, all welcome. There's the angle link if anyone wants to jump in. There we go. Coffee time. Drink a coffee. I'll put the cup behind there this time so I keep trying to put him in water in it and so. Paul looks like Mr. Rogers. If I knew who Mr. Rogers were, I'd be like, oh yeah, but I don't know who it is. Not a clue who it is. That's my mobile. I need to send some links off the mobile now. Hello, Shane. Yeah, I just did a, a quick one over the thing because I don't put videos out when I need to. Everyone keeps asking me to, so I did. That's what I need to do. Right, we'll crack on a bit. Let's, we'll do a, a KH test first. If anyone wants to join in, you've already done it. Put your results in there. Salt water. You always know which is a salt water when you put it into a clear glass because the salt goes over the top. And I've got a nice high roll water in here, crystal. Yamadoit. Right, there's anyone coming in. Don't leave me all alone. You can't leave me all alone, people. Ozzy Ozzy, Alk 9. 18 people on, no one's joining me. The fun and games of it. I'm going to send Michael a link, but I've got to do it this way. Right. Is everyone ready? Pick it, I ate it. I'm just not, I'm not good at it. I couldn't do what Michael does where he's on for an hour, two hours. Without doing it, Let's see what is he? What he'll jump and set up. I'm making an excuse for that. It's kids screaming. Well, there's no excuse for it. You gotta come in. Without that, in cage. That was phosphorus. Right, Woody, come on. Stop being the bell end.
PB of then, yeah, I'll all PB. JB Aquatics is in. Which one of you is? It's so Woody, everyone. If, everyone. if no one knows who this is, he's not been on in such a long time. Obviously, he's had royal engagements. <laughs> I've had to jump on to stop you from moaning at me. Well, I would have. I wouldn't mind a lot. I would have had technical difficulties and it might have just gone off the stream. <laughs> I hate being on my own. I know you do. Oh, see, see the emotion in his voice when he said that then? A little tear. A little tear rolled out of my glass eye. <laughs> so what's everyone up to? Oh, look at that. You're getting AVO. AO Wood is. You're getting a lot of the LOs in here now. Oh, if people didn't know, what is going to Magna? I'm going to Magna, baby. <laughs> hey, Shane. How's it going? See, everyone says a lot to you. No one says a lot to me. Welcome to Woody's uh, Test Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> Aussie, Aussie. Uh, how you doing, Paul? You all right, mate? Woody. Another English man. <laughs> how you doing? We're taking over. How you doing? How you doing, Willie? Nice to meet you, man. You too, mate. You too. What's happening then? What's happening? Not a lot. Not a lot. We're testing. Test Tuesday. Yeah, I've done mine. Yeah, I was. Um, I was bored out of my nut today, so uh, everything was done by about twelve this afternoon. That's, that's dedication, right there. Oh, the big man's in. The big man's in. Who's that? He's making noise. I'm not said hello to Vicky for a long time. Is hey, that Ozzy? How you doing? All right, mate. Hello, Ozzy. I don't think I've ever spoke. Hey. No, no. I think someone's a fan of the Aqua Forest. What do you reckon? Looks that way. Oh, right. You can see. Oh, yeah, you've got the camera there, haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> Fucking hell. I forget where. It's all right. Yeah, I went to the Aqua Forest. Yeah, it's, um, it's all right. Ozzy, Ozzy. It must be going cheap to bite and bolt like that. Ozzy. Yes. Swearing now, it's too early. Oh, sorry. <laughs> That's it. Be banned in a minute. <laughs> um, yeah, Aqua Forest is good. It's not, I don't know if it's, it's in the same league as Triton, no. No, they're all, they're all the, more like the same thing, mate. I won't worry about it. Nothing up to yeah. Triton, no. Give it a go. Triton's good because it's cheap. That's, that's, that's the main thing about it. Wait, everything Triton's you need cheaper, in little bottles. Triton yeah. is cheaper than Aqua Forest. Yeah, yeah there? definitely, definitely. Really? It's, well, for me, it's twenty-eight pound for the bottles, and it lasts about eight or nine months. So it's definitely cheap for me. And what would mm. Aqua Forest cost? A lot more than that. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's the mass for you. <laughs> A lot more. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, I'd probably have to dose. I know 25 mil was, well, the KH oh. a, lot, a lot more than that for me. Yeah, that's the thing I like about Triton. Like, literally, it's a few mils, yeah. four or five mils. So when you buy a bottle, I'm coming off a of Zeovit, and Zeovit was ri ridiculously expensive versus yeah. Triton, four bottles, no other supplements. You just dose. Even Michael has a big tank, and he's dosing, what, 12 mils? Yeah, I think 11, 11 or 12 mil. Yeah, yeah. That's it, that's it, tank in it. yeah as, as at that rate you only use two bottles so it's a hundred dollars to run your tank every year well, not for us it's only 28 pound a, a set in it oh so what's it 40, uh -huh. 46 pounds or whatever what if for us it's 29 pound for you it's 28 because like your discounts you get your royalty discount <laughs> So that means it's negative. They actually pay Woody to use it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, 56. Come on, Paul. So what is the KH? What is it? 7.1. Good, good. All right. Let me let me test my KH. That's small compared to last week, isn't it? 7.7. I'll, I'll leave it till next week. I'll test. In fact, I'll test it midweek. Yeah, seven one is what it went down to, wasn't it? And when you were trying to buffer it up. Yeah, like I said, it did go back up. It did go back up to seven point seven. So I actually got it to eight point one. 
I've got to fed up with Kiwi using the trident, you know, to buffer it. Yeah. I'm not doing that anymore. You say you were using Triton to buffer it? Yeah, because I was using the other stuff and it wasn't doing it. Uh, do you know what? I put the powder in and it was ATMs, do you know, alcohol. And I, uh, you see what I used half a tub and it didn't even touch it. Yeah, I remember you were talking about that. Yeah, I um, I just use the cheap bulk resupply stuff and just keep that on hand when I need to do adjustments. Yeah, but when you're buying one that costs you like nearly 30 quid a tub, you expect it to be good, don't you? Yeah, yeah. You expect it to be decent. Okay, never paid for any. <laughs> See, I'm not using a lot of uh, aquaforest. I'm, I'm dosing about, I think, 70 mil a day of each. 70? 70. Yeah, that's... <laughs> but I'm not, I'm not heavily loaded with SPS no. at the minute, but I guess I will. The thing is, right, you're, if, if your dose is 70 in that system then, you're not like heavy on SPS, how much am I going to use? Yeah. You can you can mix it. You can increase the strength of the components. You can you can mix, say, if you're using more trace elements, you can add more trace elements. If you're using more KH, you can double the strength, treble the strength of the KH. You can do whatever you want, really. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a bowling method, isn't it? Yeah, you could just make it more potent to how you how you see. I mean, if you if you if you find yourself you're adding iron, potassium, you can dose more of the components. You know, yourself. It just you'd have to do an ICP, I guess, to get it right. But it ain't that bad. It, I, like I say, I want to I want to try the Triton just because of all the the good reviews it's had, people's successes and stuff. You know. Have you got a refusion? No, no, nah, nah, I don't. See, I'm using the ceramic rings, right? And I swear by them. You know, I've not had any nitrate or phosphate since using the ceramic rings. What, the super well, Yeah, yeah, and they're amazing. Yeah, no, they're they really good. are amazing. Yeah, they're really good. Yeah. So, Next week, I'm going to be using these. I'm going to be testing with all these. Tropic Marin, calcium and magnesium. Phosphate, what? KH, and NO2 and NO3. But I won't be testing the NO2, I'll just be doing the NO3 in this. Well, that next week, we'll kick all these in next week. Method. Hello, method. Woody, how's your, um, your no skimmer sort of trial going? He's back on there, mate. Yeah. It went, How uh, come? It went all right, but I think I think I jumped the gun a bit. I think yeah, I could have left it off. I think the uh, yeah problems I was having with the tank, I was putting it down to having no skimmer, but I think it was the heat. Yeah, yeah. See, it's just it's just where you, it's always been the thing in it to have a skimmer, and then you've always one of them necessities to have, and then to be told you don't need it. And you're like, what? Uh, uh, you know, how's how's a marine tank gonna survive without a skimmer? Yeah. But you know, back in the day, they, a lot of people used to run two skimmers. Yeah, they couldn't draw the air that they do now. The queen. Answer this phone. It's the queen. Yeah. That's why I run my skimmer to like pull in air because um, without without a skimmer, um, my pH would drop. That's what I wanted to ask on here actually was the fact that i'm using a bubble uh, not a bubble scrubber a uh, co2 scrubber now i can't measure my ph because i've got no probes at the minute but if, if i wasn't to use the skimmer would i see a drop in ph well you'd need to you'd need to be able to measure it to tell it but i yeah you know i'm, I'm in new york and i'm in an apartment and there's yeah. four of us so you know, when you have the windows closed in this winter, when you run in the air conditioner unit, and in the winter when it's cold, there's not a lot of fresh air. Even if I had all the windows open, as long as someone is here, um, I think it it definitely affects the pH because I see it on my controller. So yeah. um, I use this. It, let's. I, I had a vertex skimmer, like a vert, a big vertex skimmer that was pulling in a lot of air. 
just I, I changed my sump and I couldn't fit that vertex skimmer in anymore. So I went to a Tunzi skimmer. And the Tunzi skimmer is great. It, it pulls a lot more stuff out of the water, but the pump isn't as big and it doesn't pull as much air. And I already see a drop in pH just from changing the skimmer that pulls less air. Yeah. So it definitely, in my case, you definitely see a difference. Yeah. Yeah. See, that's that was what I was gonna. If see, if I was to drop the skimmer, would I need to then employ the bubble scrubbing method, like in a proper way, to replace the gas exchange? Do you know what I mean? From, yeah. From what I see, the bubble scrubbing helps, but marginally. Like yeah, I think but, the bubble scrubbing does, you know, I think it helps when you do it periodically cleaning, but from what I see in terms of pH affecting the pH, it doesn't do much. Like I, I removed it. I stopped doing it for that. Even if you, even if you put, you're using it to pull in air from outside, it doesn't. Yeah. Right. See what I have got as well. I've actually just seen what, see I've, I've upgraded my pump on the skimmer. So I've got a JBO. Is it JBO? It's like a controlled. You can control the amount of performance it's got on the, on the pad. About here, I'll show you. Oh. Can you see that controller? Uh, yep. Not there, not there. No, not there. That's it. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I can actually just dial the skimmer down if I wanted to. Would that be all right? And just leave the skimmer. Or run it at the lowest setting. Yeah, and just leave it. Oh, you probably have to adjust the um the intake or the outtake of the uh the skimmer. What's that? What's that? Uh, um, bubble magnus. Yeah, magnus five. Yeah, so I could just. Yeah, so you probably if you're gonna run it that low, you probably have to more or less close that valve. Yeah. That's like, a J book. That's a J book controller. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's a yeah. Oh, I think all um. All the yeah, I've upgraded it all. Yeah. All the new um, bubble magnet skimmers now can come with uh, controllable JBO pumps, and they right. See, my, my pump broke down, so I bought this and just tried it, and it worked a treat. But it's, it's pulling out too much, you know, there's it's not leaving any, any nutrients yeah, in there. Uh, it's key like completely off, seems like you've got no nitrates or phosphates. Yeah, this is what I'm worried about. The phosphates I'm worried about, I just why don't you just yeah. run the skimmer for. Say twelve hours of the day, or saying through the night, or, or whatever, just to keep you yeah. on a timer. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I think you're right. It's just having the balls to do it. Do you know what I mean? It's just, it's just not what you've been, what you've been taught to do, is it? You know. But yeah, no. But if I'll you... give it a shot. Eh? Yeah. But that's be that's be um, CO two. That's be CO two scrubber there. Yeah. So, so I want to I want to keep that going. That's what I'm. Yeah, cool. Hey, Woody. Yes, mate. So, so, you know, I hooked up the chiller two days ago. Yeah. And, you know, my ACANs, I see a big difference in my ACANs. Just, wow. you know, yeah. I think, I mean, they still look terrible. They still look like they're suffering, but at least, you know, they're open. Yeah. Yeah, but they were really closed up the last That's couple crazy. of days. As soon as I've got the air conditioning unit in here, got the room temperature down. Yeah, it seems to have changed my tank a bit as well. Yeah. Then this chat. So I, th I think I'm going to try and ride. I've just got some other dollars. I think I'm going to I'm going to ride this out for this um for this winter with this um for this summer with this chiller and then next summer I try I'm going to get a bigger one, something that's more efficient. KH is 9.7, which is unchanged from last week. 9.7? Yeah. I want to keep it a little lower, but... Because I'm doing the Kalkwasser and the Triton 50-50. That's probably why you KH is 9.7, isn't it? Yeah, but I'm gonna I'm gonna let it drop naturally on its own. I'm not gonna lower it. I'm just gonna leave it. <clears throat> and when it gets to eight, try to hold it steady at about eight. Yeah, eight eight point five. Nice. All right, so I'm a proper reefer. My KH is spot on. I don't, um, need to I don't know. You know but, um, you're not getting the seal of approval from uh, from Paul first. So I don't. I don't need to test anything else then. I'm a proper reefer now. 
<laughs> no, Paul's got to tell you that. No, would he? Now you can't give yourself that title. Only Paul oh. can knight you with that title. Which one? Proper That's it. Right, let me just do the baby a drink. I'm a proper reefer. My case is just spot on, Paul. I don't need to test anything else. Right, so Woody just dips his finger in and licks it and knows, it's, knows how it's going. Uh, Angelo's fish tanks, hello. Method, hello. Vicky, hello. Shane, hello. SYT, hello. Mike Lawrence is in. Well, at least one day a week ago. You might be listening. I did send you a link, Michael, if you want to come in. Don't think because you've got a new job, you can't do Test Tuesday. Don't work like that. Oh, what's his new job? Don't know. What, you don't know? He ain't told you? Know, you. Oh, come on, let us in. No, I can't. Not allowed to. Timo. Yo. You know, don't you? Uh, no one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you was talking about, you. Do you know what Michael's new job is? Call it. No, I, I know. I'm not telling no one. <laughs> not for me to tell. Yeah. That's why Seymour's being quiet. Look. <laughs> it's got to be good. It's got to be good, isn't it? It's got to be good keeping it secret, isn't it? He's a truck driver. <laughs> So there we go. Phosphorus, 14. Well, wow, that's low, isn't it? So, if, usually Michael tells me what it is. I'm going to get the calculator out. I think I've got to do a water change. Yeah, you need to. Become a proper reefer. Need to find the calculator. That's what I need. Calculator. So what was it, 14? 14 times 3.066 divided by a thousand. Not point not four on the phosphate. Not point not four. Yeah, see, I'm getting a, a 0. 0.00 on that phosphate, yeah. Yeah, see, that's not good. Definitely not good. Zero. Yeah, that's... I'll show you. I'll do a test. I'll show you. Hang on. What fives, eh? Yeah, mate. This is watching Love Island. Is she catching up? Yeah. <laughs> what the final war? Yeah, yeah. It's the final cut. Yeah. What's up, Mickey? Uh, but what's happening, kids? Uh, what I missed? I uh, Paul's uh, is Paul a proper reefer. Proper reefer. Michael, it's all right. Stay in our little circle. You can become one one day. Funny, <laughs> would it? Only if he's lucky. <laughs> Michael, send your link. Proper. That's it. That's it. Spell it properly, now. Yeah. Right. I'm gonna send you another link, Michael. So you can. So he's been he's been to London twice and he's turned into a company. I see you more. Yo. You're a proper cockney, aren't you? <laughs> I try. I try to be. <laughs> but he's only above average cockney. Oh, uh, Woody. I thought we were cool. <laughs> Woody, I thought me and you was like best buds. We are best buds. I, have, I haven't tested phosphates in a couple of weeks. Like... Thank you, I'm good, as you. It's not going to be good. So that's why I'm scared to test it. Michael's lying. Yeah. He said he's in the bath, he forgot it was Tuesday. No, he didn't. He started well, working. I reckon he's lying about it. He's, he's on his second day, which is Tuesday. He's been at home all day today, isn't he? Yeah. So he's lying about being in the bath. <laughs> yeah. He's got that bath on a Tuesday. Every Sunday. No. <laughs> I'm going to do a big water change tonight. All right, so 
I'm going to do a phosphate test right now. I like Ozzy's uh, tank watching chair. Look, just perfect yeah, yeah, yeah. in the corner there. Look. <laughs> Need What's that? A lazy boy. Look, he's, he's tank watching chair. Oh, yeah. He's <laughs> holding for the message chair, that is. <laughs> Keeping out of the way. The poor mix was uh, too much in for uh, the rest of the bath these days. SYT, me. I'm one of the worst ones for a bath. I can lie in there and watch a full film. Twenty nine watches. That's not bad for test Tuesday, is it? Only seven likes. No, oh, I'm not bothered about them. If you like it when we go off, we'll make sure you hit it then. Rooms at twenty six. What have you had your air con on, Woody? I've had it on a bit today, yeah. Got the room down. Who to is it? Yeah, we're back in. Sorry, I see him all shouted out, you want. All right, it's okay. That's <laughs> right, yeah. He's just ordered a tons of awesome later. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you what, this 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 this, this, this Neptune auto top off is really pissing me off. I don't know why you can't get the oscillator. Uh, you don't kick a man when he's down, Woody. You don't <laughs> kick a man when he's down. Sorry, Alex, sorry. Do you, do you want me to send you my one? Uh, you, know the, you know the messed up thing now, Woody, is I'm going away next week, so how am I going to go away on vacation with this thing failing now? That's you know? What do you have, one in the cupboard, Woody? I wouldn't be surprised. No, I've got the... Um, no, I use the oscillator, and I've got one of them... Uh, the smart ATO is a micro one. I've got that as my backup in the cupboard. Thank you. No, um, no, I would need an asthma later. And I guess I would need um, like, a, like a siphon stop on it. Oh, yeah, because you've got that big... Um, yeah. Container, ain't yeah. 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 All right. I got the last piece of thing I need to hook up my. Can't you use the float switch from the um, ATK, but run a oscillator for it. The float switch. Yeah, you got the float valve, didn't you? So if you do get back siphon, it lock it off. You see, these two are talking now, and all I hear is this blah 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 blah. <laughs> I don't understand none of it. Not. Right, go on. Is he doing it? Yeah, he's doing it. You see, the thing is, I reckon if you would have got the pass per billion, it would read something. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, he's got the part. Yeah, he's got the. So it's only going to read zero, isn't it? Yeah, that's, that's the thing. It only. Right, press once. Uh, Mitch, hold your finger, ain't you? No, no, no. No, he puts his, no, he puts his reagents in. Yeah. You do mix the reagent. Yeah. You what? You say again? Ah, you, shouldn't do that. you shouldn't do that. Why? Why? You should, you, because the glass could have a different colour in it. Ah. No, 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 yeah. honestly. I, I've done it. I've done it. I've done it on a test. I've done it on here, on, on camera. What did you do? It? Using using the two Sorry. bottles? Yeah, using the Let's two bottles. One. Yeah, I'll do this one right, and then see what happens, and I'll do another one. I will rinse them out Will and it? do it again. So that sets that for three minutes. Yeah. Yeah. I'll rinse that out quick. See, because I had phosphates, I did that, and I did it on here, two, using two different ones, and it showed up completely off. You know, like because about five out, about point five out. Well, yeah. point zero five out. Yeah, I got a bunch of bottles, so I don't I don't know which bottles are the new bottles versus the old bottles, and then some of them are miscolored, discolored. So when you use that, suppose I use one of the new bottles where the light penetrates fully, and then I have one of the older bottles that it calibrates, you know, 
So yeah. that that's one of the, the reasons it can get, you know, I have kids and my bottles are always getting lost. Sometimes I leave stuff in them and maybe it discolors a little bit. So I don't do that. And everyone on here, don't blame your kids for losing stuff. Okay. <laughs> See you, Mark. <more. laughs> my kids is always messing with my stuff. <laughs> Right, I'm doing a nitrate test now. I'm doing a nitrate test while we're waiting for Aussie's three minute countdown. This is stupid phone. I've got a new phone. We start now. It's going on here. Two fingers and. What is it? There's been. There's been a couple of times where I um, oh, where I'm doing oh, this 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 phosphate test and then forget about the three minutes and then the test goes to waste. I'm not, oh, I'm the time. All the time I do, Timo. Oh, send us another link, would you? I've done something wrong, in. Right. Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah. One level spoonful of this. I'm doing nitrate tests, by the way, people. You see that, yeah? 48 seconds. I'll go and rinse this out quick. Say again? You said he can't kind of rinse, I think he's going kind to of rinse the vial out. All right. Oosh. What are you yeah, doing? I would have just kept that vial, yeah, because he's never put nothing in there. Yeah. So. Yeah, if he's got that. Hey, Google. Three minute countdown. He's uh he's probably definitely got phosphates in the uh in the tank. It's probably just undetectable on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see this nitrate's been low, low. Like yesterday, I put three blocks of cube in. Uh, I put three blocks blocks of cube, cubes in yesterday. I did it on the stream, you know. Uh, I put refries in, easy SPS, aminos. Alright, what's his... his uh, 0.00. Yeah, it's easy. Do you know what he needs to do? Morning. Get some water, right? Then get a syringe and just suck a little bit of the water from under the sand bed. And then put it in. Just to see if it raises up. I've cleaned that sand bed. <laughs> just clean the sand bed. <laughs> what I'd do is like put a bit of fish shit in. Do you know, just to see if it's... <laughs> what did you say about Hannah check is working? Yeah. I think it's definitely working. I think it's because it's not the ultra low. Yeah, that's what I'm saying because it's the ultra low, isn't it? Well, so it tells you, it, it tells you, go on the uh, website and it tells you what that reads up to. So you know that is nitrates, if anything. Yeah. Uh, um, <laughs> That only reads past per million, past per million, doesn't it? Yeah, the, this one reads past per billion. I mean, so zero on that, it'll tell you in parts per billion what sort of range Maybe you're in. There's some instructions here. I don't know. I'll have a look. I bought this in. I bought this from um, Worldwide Corals in Florida. See. Yeah. And this is what they use because I, I said to them about the ultra light. And they said, no, they don't even use that. They said they just use this. Well, they, they recommend that one for fish only systems and for a reef yeah. tank, the ultra low. Uh, my dog's is in. Who let the dogs out? <laughs> Hello, my dogs. Long time no see. Ah, right, good point, Shane. Tap water. Put tap water in. But the thing is, you put tap water, yeah? That's right. <laughs> But that's just was. Ain't gonna work, is it? It's not gonna show nothing on his what his fish tank is, is it? No. <laughs> it's good. It's telling him what the phosphates is in his tap water. Yeah. But not on his tank. I'll just look up what the difference between the ultra low and the and that one he's got. Yeah. And sit and then you know what sort of range his one's in if it's shown zero 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 on that. It does say here that it does say here. Let me have a read. Um. It's nothing like the ultra low. 
I know that it's got a point. It's got a point zero four uh, discrepancy. So. Oh, yeah, accuracy. I've got zero nitrates. Yeah. Yeah. You got zero nitrate. Yeah. No, yeah, I've been my people. I've been doing this over six years and I've never had zero nitrate. <coughs> Ever. Got to start feeding a bit more, maybe. It's, it's the chato that I've got, I'm telling you now. It's sucked yeah. it up since I've used it. Yeah, zero. Look at that. Clear. Mm -hmm. And that's usually yellow, you know, pink in it. Yeah. It's like it's got a little tinge to it, <coughs> but this you put it onto white and there's nothing. It's just clear. Well, it's it's like it. Yeah, it's clear. If I put it to that, hang on. Oh no, hang on. It has got a, it has got a tinge to it, hasn't it? Look. Yeah, it normally takes about three minutes to knit to colour up. Yeah, yeah. It's all right. I said Google set it. Well, the thing is, it looks like it's got a tinge there, but when it goes flat down, it's got it's showing. It's just clear. No, no, when you're reading that wrong, well, when, you, when you hold it down flat on the card, that means you read it high range. If you want low range, you hold it to the side of the card, and then you what point what two is now becomes point two, and what five is is now point five. So, so if okay. you get, right, hold the, hold the uh, test file up in the air. Right. You are. Now, how you've got that, and you've put the card against it, yeah. Now that's ultra low reading. So you, your two parts per million is now 0.2 parts per million. Do you understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, so, for example, I've got two and a half, um, two and a half uh, parts per million nitrate in my system. So if I hold it how you're holding it, it comes up as 25. But if I if I hold it flat, it looks like zero. Right. So I'm looking at the side. So it's point 0.1 then. Yeah, you've got something in there. Point one. Should be five. Yeah. That's the Salaford set test kit? Yeah. I've actually got... I think you're supposed to do it different for the old... I think there's different instructions for ultra-low nutrients. I've got, I've got a thing here. Let's have a look. All right, what am I? No, it's right. Use it. No, it's right. Use the side of the vial. Oh, all right. I'm always right. I'm always right. You <laughs> don't have to make it. Well, that's, do you know what? That, that, that's good to know, that. It's a proper reefer. Proper reefer. <laughs> He's in the club. demo has been relegated. <laughs> all right. Good side, mate. You better add him to the group there, Paul. Yeah, proper reefer. Send an email to proper reefer at gmail.com. <laughs> so it's a two minute water. And then you test that first. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Stop, 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 stop. Show me that water vial. Right, that's above the line. You need to do it below the line. You need to yeah, do it so the bubble touches the line. Don't do it for a shrink. Don't do it for the shrink. Why? No, the concave of the no, bubble. No. Yeah, don't do it for a shrink. Like, no, you can put the water in the shrink, but make sure in the vial, the water, the bubble is just yeah. touching that line. That's just above the line. You can see it from here. To empty a bit out, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The bubble's got to literally touch the line, hasn't it, would it? Yeah, the bottom of the bubble. So it's just like a concave bubble, isn't it? Yeah. It's right, so now you, what you need to do is look at it flat. When that, the bottom of the bubble, like you see the, the, the dip in the water, when the dip touches the line, that's right. where you need to stop. Yeah, you, like need, you, you need a bit more water in there. Yeah. It's not a touch in there, right? Do it your way, it's it, it's go. I want it to go. I want it to read some phosphate, at least. Yeah, but the thing is, if you're doing it that way... You don't want to be doing that because it's diluting the powder more. Just make sure, like the bubble, the line just touches the line. 
It's what's it called? Is it called the meniscus line? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Right, that's gonna be it. Yeah. That's but for me, because it's on an angle to us, we can't see if it's perfect or not. Yeah. Right. Well, it is. That's just. That's just. As long as that but the bottom of that concave line is touching the white yeah, the line. Yeah, the bottom of the concave is touching the line. Yeah, that's, that's right. Then. Yeah, because like. Yeah, make sure, yeah. yeah. make sure the veil's clean, like dry. Yeah, I, I, I assume that the lines they printed on were like a few mil out or something. The thing is, when you use these syringes that you get, they're not medical grade syringes. So well, these then, are not, no, these are not perfect. If you get them, if you want to get a medical grade one, then they'll be perfect. Well, these are not, these are not perfect. You're the man, isn't you? <laughs> <clears throat> so what, what was my point one nitrates that's not good but i need to raise them up don't i worry yeah take some of cheeto out yeah i'm gonna do i'm gonna I'll pull out of it out there well i'll do it tomorrow not today <laughs> Oh. Oh, oh, just make sure you do your countdown first before you pour it in. Oh, fucking well done, mate. <laughs> it's getting complicated now, isn't it? Right, put the lid on, yeah. <laughs> the amount of time well, he done, put right? the checker because he was told it was easy. <laughs> It is when you ain't got four other reefers in your ear roll. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, pressure's on. Right. Wait, how many times have you done it? Oh. Stupid oh. event. Calcium time. Do you know what? I'm thinking my magnesium might be high. Do you remember the other week? Or was it last week? <laughs> yeah. When I told you that I pulled the kit, the, the wire out and the magnesium was all over the place. <laughs> But the pipe would have pumped it all in. Do you know what was through the pipe? Yeah. We'll see how that is. Just got to pour this powder in. Don't shake it. Just turn it by gently turn it so you don't get bubbles in it. Oh, 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 but new kids on the block for everyone. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Right, how long do you shake the bottle? Is it four minutes? Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In, yeah, just like invert it and put it back, invert it and take it back. Just do it gently so it's not, and eventually it'll start to disappear. But if you start shaking it, you get bubbles in it, it gives you a false reading. It's not. The one thing that always made me feel good was that the picture I had my dad was the exact same as I just always thought, oh. You might need to rewind that a bit. Oh my god. This is just telling me my next door neighbour's pregnant again. The kid never shuts up now. Jesus. Who is? The neighbour. Neighbour. No. Oh. We're going to get out panicking then. We're not going to be able to go to New York. <laughs> <laughs> no, Paul, we can still go. No, exactly. What You're not pregnant. What are we going? We have to pay for it. We're definitely going. <laughs> uh, sorry, right. use, the, use those that have to come. I'll just use the hotel room for you, you know? We'll just have a part. Don't worry. <laughs> It won't go to waste, Woody, I promise. <laughs> I'll, just, I'll just put on a wig and pretend and tell him I'm Woody. You know who I am? Sir that, Wood. You're going to have to put the crown on. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't know if it'll fit, you know? <laughs> Or I could just, if, or if you guys send me my proper reefer name tag, that'll be enough to get me in. Hey, Woody, we need to get some t-shirts. You missed to make some t-shirts. Pete says your missus can get them. 
yeah, it's got a friend that does all that printing sort of stuff, yeah. Right, we need to get some, work that same one, we need to get some pictures, some kind of t-shirt, like proper reefer t-shirts. Yeah, yeah, get, get, oh, oh, will you design saying? Huh? Will you design saying for Vegas? Oh. Come on. You got a friend, you got a friend who's good with Photoshop, Paul, let him do it. <laughs> I tell you what, if you make me do it, see what you, the pictures I'll have on mine will be a be of you. Yes. Yeah, but ask your friend. Ask your friend. I ain't got a friend. Yeah, you got a you got a best mate who's good with like um Photoshop and stuff. No, that's me. Oh, oh okay, okay. Sorry, I, I, all right. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> right, uh, one spoon. Uh, I'm doing the cage there. Calcium now, people. I want a t-shirt that says Reefing with O The big O I want one saying above, above every joke me and, me and Woody want one saying On tour with O On tour with Woody What, <laughs> what, what happens in Vegas On tour with above average O What happens in Vegas Don't tell the missus <laughs> <laughs> The missus is the missus is, yeah. is, 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 is. <laughs> nothing good, nothing's gonna happen anyway. You're just average, you know, above average. <laughs> it's a pro that one, didn't he? I've already told the wife I'm taking 10,000 pan, changing it into one dollar bills, and stuffing it in as many G strings as I can. Oh. Woody, I'll wear a G-string for some dollar bill. <laughs> yeah, I didn't specify who's G-strings. I just said it. <laughs> got a G-string. I'm just getting a dollar bill. Oh, ten thousand pounds. Yeah. Oh, it's probably gonna weigh ten thousand pounds too. Oh, <laughs> put the lobster on it. Oh, lobster. All right, guys, I gotta go. I'm gonna head to the gym. All right. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> You gotta get this G string body ready, you know? <laughs> you guys will live stream it. Most probably not. We'll be too drunk. Yeah, I think Only... Michael should do some filming in it. Michael would do a live stream, don't worry. I sure there won't be. But that's between us, isn't it? No. Oh. So, how long was it before you yeah, Woody, that, that's a zero, isn't it? Oh, it's never. Let me have a look. Yeah, it's zero. <laughs> yeah. Six. All you got to do is just work out what the difference is between that one and the ultra low. And then you sort of know that you're all part of where your um, phosphate should be. Yeah, I know. What you're uh, yeah, I know what you're saying. You work out what a zero would be in range. Yeah, it, it only it only registers up to a certain point. So the ultra low starts at a totally different point. So at least you know you're at the starting point or yeah. below of the yeah. uh, the ultra low. It's only parts per billion, but it's still. You know, at least it give you something, give you some sort of idea until you get yourself. I'm gonna, I'm gonna knock the skimmer off for a bit. I'm gonna see how it goes. So I've, I've done two weeks of it, and then I'll just. I lost my bottle, really. <laughs> right, four hundred and sixty-five calcium. That's all right. Yeah, it's all right. That's all good there. Magnesium. That's one you reckon might be a little bit at. I reckon this is going to be high. The amount of bugger ups I've had over last week with this. Why hasn't you got a full foot in the mouth? She's crazy. I'm not saying. Got a full foot in the mouth. <laughs> I'm not saying a little bit, the full foot is in the mouth. Ozzy, how many fish you got in that tank? Yeah. Five. Ain't many. That's what I mean. That's probably why. Yeah. You know, you know what I've done. I don't know if you can spot the culprit in there. There's a clown thing in there, and I'm worried about who his next tank mate will be. Do you know what I mean? Because he's he yeah, gets waking up a bit, mate. <laughs> Sorry, Michael. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, 
How big is that system? Uh, 400 litres. Yeah, so you've only got a few fish in there as well, so you're going to struggle with light trokes a bit anyway. Yeah. The fish. Yeah, I think, yeah, maybe more fish. Yeah, maybe a few more fish. How many times a day do you feed? Oh man, that was it. I was feeding heavy, man. I was feeding. I tell you what, I was four, I was feeding at one stage four cubes of food. <laughs> two, Every two twice a day, two prime twice a day, right? And it still had zero nitrate, zero phosphorus. Stop. Four four foot in the mouth. Is it mental, Chris? Five mil of water. <laughs> hey, Jenny. Who's calling you? Hey, Jenny. Hello. <laughs> she said she'd ring you after, Paul. <laughs> Ready? Ready? Oh, that one, the battery's dead on that one. Keep your eyes there. <laughs> yeah, that one, you. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, there it is. See, this is this this is where Michael always buggers up on this one. The magnesium. I've got to read it every time because I still can't get it right. Five drops of the liquid. Shane, uh, one, two, three, four, five. Five out one. Basically, this test gets to waste the money, really, isn't it? Say so again, mate. This test kit I bought to waste the money, really. It's it won't be because it could save you tank one day, couldn't it? If you have a spike, no. you'll know. Mm. Need the ultra low, really. I think that's what I should have. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Like I said, I've always told people to get the ultra low. So, everyone that's in there, there's 28 people on at the minute. Anyone's got any questions? Anyone want to tell us the results? So, Woody, have you tested yours? Yeah. What are they? Um, KH is always bang on eight, you know that. The uh, nitrates are about six. Phosphate's about four. Calcium's uh, 420. Jenny's laughing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in background. <laughs> Told you I'm a proper reefer. <laughs> <laughs> Nearly 12 years in the hobby now, mate. You know. Can't be I, don't think, I don't think people realise that you've been in it that long, you know. Yeah, I know. Because you're a proper reefer. Proper reefer. Been there and done it. Oz has been in there a while. Hello, Oz. Hey, Woody, you got any free stuff for me? Yeah, what do you want, mate? I've got a couple, a couple full of it. What do you want? He's got a cupboard full of. Hang on, Woody, you've got a cupboard full of stuff. You never said it's free. <laughs> <laughs> to, to you and I, it's always free. Ah. Right, back down the dragon pump. Boop, 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 boop. Red dragon pump. <laughs> yeah. I think I might be Yeah, O's already claimed that, isn't he? O's not having the Bubble King skimmer anymore. Do you want that? Hey, no, 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 no. <laughs> That's not what I said. I just said. No, 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 no. You, no, 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 no. Don't put words in my mouth, Woody. I didn't say that. You said... Let's handle this first, and then we'll deal with that later. That's what you, your words, not I mine. Did. I did say that. All right. So yeah, what do you like about the magazine? Not even changed. <laughs> I knew it'd be I. I knew it'd be I. In fact, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fill it back up. I'm gonna fill it back up and do it again. So Woody, we got one trip happening in a little over a month, right? Yeah. And then we got another trip 
But I don't, I don't know if I'm going to be able to fit that pump in my case. I'm only taking a little case because all I need for Vegas is a pair of flip flops and a G string. <laughs> so I'm. Hey, I'm Woody. <laughs> hey Woody, there's not going to be anything in this. Just wrap it up in the G string. Just tell them that's the. That's <laughs> no, the I, I can't. I can't walk about barefoot. I need me. I need me flip flops. I guess what. I'll go to Old Navy and I'll buy you some flip flops, right? <laughs> so leave the flip flops and bring the pump. Oh, do this again. I think I might have used. Uh, hey, but Woody, but Woody, also remember, you're gonna have something to take home, so you'll need some room, something, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, do you want me to leave it in the box in that house? No, Woody. No, it's gonna yeah, be hard. It's a- it's a, it's a role exclusive box as well, is that mean? All right, but Woody, but all right, Woody, if you wanna if you wanna if you could carry the box, yeah. yeah. Just stick it in Paul. Paul travels light, so it no, only wears is it. You doing a bunch of New York, Woody? Say again, mate. No, no, no. We're talking about Vegas. There's no way he's gonna he's got an hand luggage. <laughs> I might see what I see what uh, case Chris is taking. I can send you the pump and it'll be there before Vegas. Pa- Woody, but well, you've been saying that for months <laughs> now. <laughs> yeah, because we still ain't sorted out a deal yet, have we? We still one minute. I Woody. Next minute you want the pump. I Woody. So send the pump and that other stuff we discussed. Yeah. All right, let's talk about let's take let's talk about it offline. But yeah, yeah, yeah bring, me, bring me after. And, no, but right, no, yeah, we're yeah, talking yeah. again after anyway. All right, Paul, I, I got to go. Woody got to go too, all right? <laughs> Talk to you later. <laughs> no, we're not going to do that to Paul. No, no. Bring, bring me in a bit when we go off, off of here. Yeah. We saw it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello, I'm back. Yeah. Yeah, just tell Chris that uh, he's not allowed to take hand luggage on. It's got to be a big one, Woody. <laughs> oh, Nick Jansy. I swear I just see you said he's had it up. So, add it up today. Ooh. Uh, it, must be, it must be above average now. He had an up. Oh. Who had an up? Yeah, Mr. Chen. Oh. Right. Let's do this magnesium again. So I put three full mils in it. And uh, it didn't change. So let's try again. So, that's again. So, five mils of this and that. One, two, three, four, five. Just a. Uh, <laughs> Lobotomy. Out of lobotomy. Is that it? Oh, Dr. Welsh is in. Hello, Welsh. Hello, Nick. Hello, Matt. Do you know what? Everyone's coming back. It's nice to everyone to be back, isn't it? 29. Nice to see everyone back. Back from where? Well, everyone's just been gone, haven't they? No, they didn't go anywhere. We just ate, well, you ain't been doing no live stream. Hey, I've done one every Tuesday for the last month and a half. Longer than nah. that. Yeah, but they've been like five minutes long, Paul. Well, at least the, at least people have been on it, see, huh? Well, what does that mean? Yeah, you're, you're, you're never on it. You know, yeah, look, look what Vicky's Rick. No one's been on for the last two months because they love Island. <laughs> Do you know what? <laughs> Cheers, Ellen. Nailed it on the head. <laughs> I think My it's because Woody's here. Here. I, I think it's because Woody's here, right, Woody? Woody's the one that brings the numbers. No, I didn't see it. Yeah. I didn't go when it came on. You are. You're joking. As soon as it came on, it dropped from 30 to 10. <laughs> oh, I've got that friend's fest on the 12th. I've got a friend's fest on the 12th. I'm going to go all pictures. And when I've got New York, I'm going to have all the pictures over there and all. I'm going to have a little friend's album. What's a friend's fest? 
It's where like all the set and all that's been brought over here. Do you know what? The magnesium is so high. Hey what? Paul, you got any Paul, you got any free stuff you bring in for me? I might find something for you. Alright, cool. I, I don't give you enough free stuff as it is, like, but yeah, I'll get you some. Yeah, well you know you UK guys. Yeah, yeah. Oh no, I don't know. I'm still waiting for Paul to sign me up to something. Ah. Oh, so I guess it's a, I, I guess it's a northern thing, right, Woody? Because you're in the south, you don't it's get Scotland, anything. Yeah. Yeah. Us Cockneys don't get nothing. Yeah, discrimination always. If us Cockneys want anything, we have to steal it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what is James? Yay! That, right, so how many is that? Two and a half and four syringes. Right. So you're gonna have to add up all the numbers. It probably don't even go that high on the um on the chart, does it? No. Well, it goes up in. Thirties for every point. Right, so you're gonna have to work out. Yeah, so it's thirty. So I've got hundred plus another hundred. So that's three thousand. <laughs> that's a good, good match. Uh, <laughs> um, hundred plus hundred, three thousand. You know what? Match, I'm gonna let you start doing my wages. Right, the magnesium is three thousand seven hundred and fifty. Is that that's right? That, that's that Manchester schooling, you know, Woody. <laughs> 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 yeah, three thousand seven hundred and fifty. I want Paul to do my wages. Honestly. Hey, I, I know Paul. I'll be on about four hundred thousand pound a year, I reckon. <laughs> yeah, hundred <laughs> plus hundred equal three. I like that. Man. No, I had the hundreds in my head already. Plus the other, that's why I said that. That's my time. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's why I said it. three thousand. That's pretty damn high for magnesium, isn't it? Oh well, Paul, man! Remember, you owe me hundred pound. So when he gets to me, he better give back two hundred. <laughs> no, 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 Woody. You're gonna give him a hundred pound. I'm gonna give him a hundred, and then he's gonna return three thousand, right? And then we're splitting. I better turn me. I better turn me magnesium off, Anna. Uh, Paul, your magnesium can be three. Paul, I would test that again. There's no way. Emo, Emo. I've just done two tests and it's come out the same. Paul, Paul, when I, when one time when I was trying to treat bryopsis and I got to like eighteen hundred. Like things were like dying. Are you telling me you had three thousand? Yeah. Impossible. Right, we're gonna do. I'm gonna use a different test kit. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I think that might be wise. I would. I would think that's a good idea. <laughs> What's the date? <laughs> Check the date on that test kit. It's not. Yeah, uh, no, it's fine. It's fine. Twenty twenty. Uh, uh, it's not wooden test kits. <laughs> Are they above average test kits, would you say? <laughs> they must be if they're giving readings like that. <laughs> I think oh, my, my tape measure is made by the same person. Oh man. <laughs> this is more this is more a comedy show than a testing. <laughs> this is brief banter. Uh, V2. V2. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Woody? You're on it today, buddy. You're sharp today, man. <laughs> what was in that Costa coffee? It, uh, must, uh, it must have been a double shot. A little extra. Pressure, I was yeah. yeah, a double shot of something, you know? A little something, something. Yeah. Ah, oh, Nicholas. A little something, something. Right. You, never, you never sent me a text message back. Did you get out of your all? Sorry, buddy. I was under the surgeon's knife. Today. That's fine. You just always remember to text me about the text. <laughs> <laughs> under the surgeon's knife. Is that a metaphor for something? Yeah. <laughs> under the surgeon's knife. <laughs> Why is it when they cut something out of you, they ask you if you want to see it? Oh. What's all that about? It's like, <laughs> no. <laughs> I want to see it. If they no. cut out my heart, I want to see it. <laughs> <laughs> You've got one, Simo? I'm not sure. Oh, yeah. and my wife says I don't, so you know. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna believe her. So if they cut mine out, heck yeah, I wanna see it. <laughs> Nick, how was the US? Oh, it was good, mate. Yeah, thanks for asking. It was really good. Um had some good memes and met some interesting people, so yeah. 
I found it alright. First time I've been to the US as well. So yeah. What? It was a good experience. Yeah, first time. It was a US are virgin. You in, are you went to Texas. Oh yeah. man, you couldn't you couldn't have picked you couldn't have picked the worst place, right? Really? Yeah. Well I wanna to go to New York as well. Like when oh, I get back yeah. over, I wanna travel around a bit. Oh yeah. Come with us in February if you want. Yeah, I mean the people were friendly, really friendly. So I'm just kidding. Texas is nice. I like Texas. Yeah, I've been to Dallas before. I like. Yeah, Dallas. I stayed in Dallas for like a week. Uh, but yeah, it was good. It was good. I like Dallas. Food in Dallas is good too. When I was there, remember when you had Hurricane Katrina? A lot mm-hmm. of um, people from Louisiana had moved to Texas, the Dallas Fort Worth area. So it was interesting. You could go to like so many. I mean, Tex-Mex food is popular there, but at the time you could get some good Louisiana meals because a lot of people from, you know, hadn't relocated there. So when I went, right. it was like, oh, the food was awesome. Yeah, I must admit the food was really good. Oh yeah, I really enjoyed yeah. everything. Did the, I had. It was good. Did, did the portion sizes surprise you? Uh, I've noticed a lot of people though that were taking boxes like from the restaurants they always got boxes to take stuff home <laughs> um, so you got like two meals in one so yeah it's pretty good but I must admit I was ravenous when I was there so I, I actually ate quite a lot Is it uh, but yeah it was good you know why hey, you probably actually had time to relax yeah that's probably what when it you're is back right, in, to you it? yeah to be honest it's probably what it was I was just chilling and it was just yeah <clears throat> Holiday time, but uh, I had a few meetings as well. It was all good. Hey, um, Seymour, you can buy uh, my aquariums from uh, Planet Aquariums now. You can buy your aquariums from Planet yeah. Aquariums now? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so we did. Uh... The... So if you go on the Planet Aquariums website, you can actually, or you have to call them up custom order. Yeah. But, uh, but how's that I... work? Then? You've showed them how to make them and, and they just make it to your spec. Yeah, so basically I did a cabinet for them and told them, like, showed them how I do it and stuff like that, and we had a look at some of their... I mean, their aquariums are really good. The glass tanks are really good. Um, he, he had, They do a tank there that's just like the ones that we're doing over here, so, yeah, they were really good. So let me ask you something now. So you were actually built a tank which in the... You, you actually built a tank, a cabinet in the U.S.? Yeah, yeah I, there's pictures on me on Facebook. Yeah, I, I, a picture of that, yeah. yeah I went over there and I was using their machinery and I cut down the wood that they had and we assembled it all and showed them how it all worked. And it was, yeah, it was good. So, all right. so you, your cabinet, in your opinion, your cabinetry was better than theirs? It just step up? Uh, no, it's just a different way to do it, I would say. The, the good products that they do. So that's why I wanted to meet with them because they're, pretty big company so the the they got good products but it was just a i'd say a different way to do it more than anything i, I, I think our cabinets here are a lot more modern looking yeah, yeah. that's why that's that's the flavor i took over there was just yeah. showing them like a different way to do it we see aquariums as, as part of the furniture here don't we yeah gotta look nice over there oh woody i feel like you're calling me woody <laughs> <laughs> i heard I this did. you know from a good power of mine yeah no, no i feel like the cheapest you think of the cheapest cabinet you make, Nick. Yeah. Um, the cheapest ca- the cheapest cabinet you make would probably be medium to high end tier here. Yeah. Because I mean, red- <laughs> what do you consider like red sea? You just consider those okay mm. cabinets, right? Low to medium, I'd say. Red sea. All right. So here. No offense to anyone with red sea. No, I don't listen. It's medium to it's medium to it's it's a good tier here. It's right. good for the. Um, you know, for the um, of course, if you pay like a cabinet maker, you can get something nice and custom. But then yeah. you're going from Red Sea, which is three grand, to like ten. Like, what did BRS said they pay for their cabinets for the BRS one sixty? I think it was like eight grand for just yeah. the cabinet only. Wow! Yeah, it was crazy. Wow! Yeah, it's eight grand. <laughs> and I think yeah. it's quite old fashioned looking. Yeah, yeah that's the better. thing. The design of them is very. The look of them is very traditional looking. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. I, I built mine for about two hundred pounds. My cabin. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. It's cheap. Can it's I see fun. Can I see it? Where is it? Yeah, it's on there now, eh? Right, hang on, I'm not close to the phone. Hold on. I was gonna say you can't tell, but I didn't wanna be <laughs> Yeah, 
Okay, guys, I lost my phone. Can you see that all right? Oh, yeah, uh, so yeah, yeah. Some, like, uh, picture yeah, rail, yeah. It? or door rail. Yeah, it's all right, you know what I mean? It does the yeah. job, but I wouldn't pay, or definitely wouldn't pay eight grand for a cabinet. No, Nick is in the wrong for seven. Yeah, seven and a half, seven and a half. Oh, so, sorry, Rick, sorry, I was uh, under-quoting there. Yeah, well, I've got, to <laughs> bit, I've got to put in a bit for your commission, Woody. Yeah, well, so I was just thinking that, yeah. <laughs> Let's bump it up to ten, then. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you didn't. You, you you didn't get a chance to go into like a Petco, which is I think most of us our first tanks here are usually like Petco tanks. Yeah, I did. I went to Petco and PetSmart. Right, um, Seymour. I'm on eight. Yes, I'm on sir. eighteen twenty already, and I've got to fill the syringe up again. <laughs> wow. I don't trust. Uh, like, oh, you, okay. I'm on a completely separate test kit. I'm using Tropic Marine now. Oh, the calcium oh, came out the exact the same. Oh, all right. All right, mate. I Just turn your magnesium to... off for a few days. Mm -hmm. A few weeks. <laughs> a few months, yeah. Just, uh... When you come back from Mac, now turn it on. <laughs> no, when you come back from New York. Wow, it's just not even turning. It's just getting stupid now. Well, it turns to be no, now. It's way either. You just might as well give up. Wasted. So, Paul, you think, think maybe you should calibrate the... Um... The magnesium dose to calibrate the dosers now, maybe they're off. No, it's not that. I pulled the pipe out of the doser, so it uh, pushed all the liquid into it, but I didn't do it once, I did it twice. Oh, oh you oh, you oh, ma oh, you should Go on, call him what you, you want to just change it, just water change it down, Paul. Yeah, I'm thinking, just yeah, but Paul, good base Paul level wants, salt, water change it down. Paul wants to do these little tiny water changes, like a five gallon bucket mm -hmm. or oh, oh, increase the calcium. Oi, oi, oi. You do what I want, Timo. <laughs> but what's that? Increase the calcium? Yeah, if you increase the calcium, it should uh, buffer the magnesium a bit more. Yeah, yeah just be careful of calcification, though. Yeah, I don't think it'd do it. Not as high as your magnesium is. Yeah, right, it only yeah. holds, the water will only hold so much. Right, just turn my magnesium completely off, yeah? Or do, do a series of water changes. Just yeah, just base it out with a water change. How much water change should I do? I'd probably do about... hundred <laughs> percent. I was going to say 50 to 70 percent over the next sort of week, two weeks. Okay. All right, you could do that too. But keep the magnesium off. Yeah. Yeah, you might as well. Right, I'm doing that. Monkey say, monkey do, and all that. Yeah. I gotta get my phosphates down. Right, so everyone, don't do what I do and get 300 and what, well, nearly 4,000 magnesium, which is not good for you. I knew you had to it up, but that's why I knew before I even tested it. That's the sky, right? Yeah. Yeah. Could that have affected the cage being used? People, anyone? Talk to myself, Rick Wong, anything? Say again, mate. Could that have affected my cage? Um, the thing is, your cage has not dropped that much, is it? What was it? 7.7 7 or something? Yeah. yeah. So it's only gone down 0.6, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Shane is um, 30 to 40%. Oh, what's it? Is he on about his one? Oh, I'm missing something. Okay. All right, I need to get my phosphates down. Like, it's, I think it's in crisis mode now. Mine are really lost, so. <laughs> Change the course. My father is also Italian. They love to be married. Well, we're turning magnesium off now. Oh. 
See with that Triton, um, the the, uh, the Triton dosing elements, would yeah. it? Right, you can't you like say you can dilute them with RO water, so they're not as potent. Yeah, you like, can. That's, that's what O does. That's yeah, right. on my nano on my nano tank, I dilute it so I can. My doser isn't accurate at like one mil. So yeah, I dilute it so I only, I dose five mils each time. That's what I yeah, do on my nano tank. Yeah, that makes sense to me. Yeah, that makes more sense. I mean, I'm only using a JBO. Is it JBO? I don't even know, but it's, you know, one mil. You can't, you can't get it. I don't think any dose can be that accurate. One mil, half a mil. Yeah, that's what I do. Also, when I, I mean, I change my sump and I change the layout of my sump, but on a previous sump where I used to dose it, um, it wouldn't, there was not a lot of high flow, so it wouldn't mix. So what I would do is I would get a lot of precipitation. So I also diluted it then. If you're, if you're getting a lot of precipitation or, you know, you dose in a lower flow area, you can dilute it so it mixes, you know. What, what I've done, I've got, a, um, I've got a, exactly where the water hits, where the, the doser drops, I've got a wave maker splashing the water, full blast. Yeah, yeah. you could do that. Mine is yeah. in a refugium now, but I think it works fine. Yeah. <laughs> Thing is, most salt and the magnesium are high now. So if you've done loads of water changes, it'll take ages for the mag to drop, I would imagine. What I could do is find out what the ATM magnesium is. Just trying to think what absorbs magnesium. Is there like something that absorbs it, maybe? I think if he takes it off and tests it every week, that should be fine. I mean, if he doesn't see any ill effects in the tank, then it's obviously not killing it's anything. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't worry too much, Paul. You, you yeah. tank, it's not suffering one bit, is it? If anything, it's growing more than it normally is. Yeah, so that's a new Sorry, magnesium. It's three thousand. Mm. the magnesium off anyway. So. When did? What about the news? I'm gonna, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start doing more regular water changes because my um. The way is see the water. You know why I keep me RO top off? Why we keep me RO like the water when I push the bucket back in after I filled it up? It's like it's pushed on the pipe. So what I've done, so all the liquid that was in the pipe is obviously when it's disconnected, it's lost its airlock. So all that's poured in, in a one And then I've connected it back, run it back through. So it's dripped a little bit more in as I've run it through. And then it's dosed its normal 12 mil in the day. And then it's disconnected again. <laughs> because obviously when it's pulled off, it's not got its like tightness, you know, because it's already been pushed on. So he's done it twice, but then I got a blade, cut it, and did a nice fresh, you know, fresh hole for it, or fresh push on onto onto the thing. So he's done it twice, but again, I can only blame myself. I can't blame anyone else now. Still, little things like that. But the thing is, I've done, I've overdosed magnesium before, and it's never had an effect. Magnesium. Not anything. So let's get in the chat. That's how everyone's doing in the chat. Hello, everyone. What do we So we know he's not ignoring us. So that's a good thing. I did text him this morning saying, Have you done it all and jumped in it? <laughs> It sounds like someone was digging a hole in him. 
But to your brain, the same over there. <laughs> you still got your cupboard full of them. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what we'll do, we've got if that would it? What we'll do before we go, we've got McDonald's, you know when Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love the sweet curry. Yeah. You go to McDonald's, get some McDonald's and I'll get some from mine so we can bring you more. Yeah. Sweet curry McDonald's sauce. What the heck is yeah, this? Sweet eye, lovely oh. She's often a mum when she's a young girl. Michael, my results was absolutely spot on, especially with magnesium. Uh, Pinocchio Williams. <laughs> yeah, my magnesium, Michael's, what was it, 3,750? Yeah, he's, he's storing it for three months' worth. Yeah. And I know it, and you, to test it twice on one test kit, and then to test it on another test kit, and it comes out with the same result, it can't lie, can it? What was it? Yeah, yeah 3,750. <laughs> nah, I'm not, I can't believe that, man. Well, I think uh, Paul's math is spot on, because 100 plus 100 is <laughs> 3,000. Right, would it? If you, go on, if, you go on, if, you, if you go on to the silicon test, yeah? A full syringe is fifteen hundred. Yeah. Then it starts from like point one to thirty, and then it goes up. So it was two full syringes, and it goes up in thirties for every point of a mil. So it was two two full ones, which is three thousand, and then half a one, which is seven hundred and fifty. Three thousand seven hundred and fifty. Who <laughs> put me in the shut the front door? <laughs> because me. Uh, I bunged up with my daughter twice. That's why. No, it's not. It's because you've got all these holidays coming up in the next six months. You've got to save your money, so you put, you put all your magnesium in there, so you ain't got to spend <laughs> no money there for the next six months. Do you know what? You're not wrong. I need to get some Triton. You don't need you don't need magnesium, so you're right there. <laughs> get the other free bottle. Yeah, but this is this is where I have a problem, and all I, I had uh, one of the KH is leaked, so I'm, I'm short of a KH. So I've got more of others, but not KH. Do you know what I mean? Paul, your lobster's un funded zero. It is, it is zero. I spent, well, I've got to do water changes. I can't be bothered. I've got, I've got all my water in. I can't be able to do it. Either. Told you, I don't need to take any money out. What he's already said, if someone wears thongs. I'm paying for everyone, anyone that comes from the UK, I'm paying for their trip while we're over there. Oh, oh the mag squirrel. <laughs> See what Michael's got over there. Storing the magnesium in the tank. <laughs> <laughs> How slow do I need to raise it? What you want to do, Stian, just raise it 1kh within a 24-hour period. 6.3, yeah. Raise it 1 within a 24-hour period. So just mix enough in so it could raise it 1 in your system and then just pour that in your system over a 24-hour period. Just a bit at a time. Look at Michael. Michael's um, kh has been, what is it, 6.7 or something for the last however long. Yeah. Hmm? Stable. Six, 6.3 is damn low. Yeah, it is, it is low, yeah. If he, um, as long as he keeps it stable and slowly brings it up, that'd be fine. Hello, Dal. Someone spelt my name for some reason. That's because I'm going to wear that, uh, what's it called? What do you call it? Sasha Baron Cohen, uh, big mankini. <laughs> yeah, look. Mickey's right there, 6.7 for three months now. And look at his, his tank's booming at the minute. Yeah, yeah. Looking better than it ever has. Ooh, Mickey? Well, yeah. What would he try to say then, Michael, is your tank's been shit always. Now, last three months, it's been all right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think uh, Mickey would argue that fact that his tank's better than it's ever been. Oh, it is. It is. It looks really nice. It's stunning. I was on the phone to him, uh, I don't know, a week or two ago, and he's doing some top-down 
shots for Reese. And it, it looks it looks amazing. Pardon me. Yeah, so you're not wrong. Yeah, they're getting really good. Bedtime. You calling me? Get out of my pub. <laughs> she said to me that Poppy's going to throw my phone in the bath. Oh. <laughs> so I... <laughs> Is it an iPhone? Yeah, yeah iPhone. Yeah iPhone X is waterproof. What are you talking about? Yeah. Proper yeah, it's an iPhone. Don't do it. <laughs> Pit, see the floors. No, that's the Samson. That float. They're all made of plastic. <laughs> Still zero nutrients with five tongues. Uh, it's a five hundred liter. Oh, sorry. Just a T-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, speaking of, I'm taking the bottle of mine because they're, they're literally falling apart. You've seen it, and you would it. See more, you've seen it. See, oh, they're falling yeah, apart. Yeah, yeah. It's horrible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> they're bricks. Yeah, they're not good. Yeah. What bricks are you talking about? The, uh, the Brightwell. <laughs> the Brightwell blocks. Do you know what, Mickey? For that one, you take shit. <laughs> <laughs> I was lying about the tank. Wait, you said the Brightwell or the Marine Pure? Which one do you say is falling apart? The Brightwell. Brightwell. Uh, yeah. oh. All right. It's okay because I've got the Max Spec team now. The Max Spec blocks are the best, aren't they, Woody? Oh. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Crickets, crickets, crickets. <laughs> Right, Woody? Yeah, you, you've had it. Yeah, I've had mine for a year. Mine, mine's always been at the back, uh, Stian. But even at the back, he's that. Yeah. But he's still in at the minute because I'm seeding the the max spec blocks at the minute, which is proper media, as Michael says. Yeah, they are good. Michael, what do you think of them? <laughs> What is going on here? I, I... We're talking about media blocks. Oh, the Max Spec to the proper ones. Oh, I've got the blocks. I, don't, I think Woody's got the blocks. Yeah, I think Woody's got the blocks too. What well, plate? So, so you got blocks? You got... Well, just go through it. Yeah. You might hear a bit of Love Island while I go through it because Mrs. You put Island, uh, Love Island. Let me show you. I'll show you the blocks. Who was able to come and make some? Might not be able to see. Right. So these, this is it. The primal media that's falling apart. So you lost the bottom of the sump. Oh crap! I'm gonna need that falling apart. This is the max spec blocks here. Ah right, yeah. So I've taken it. I'm just. That's why the sandwich in between some seed. But as soon as I get, look at how pods running in here. Big, big ass pods. Oh much. Oh, that'll be all right then. Who is the size of this one? The size of that pub there, look at that. Yeah. Massive. Get it running around. <laughs> look, Michael's a proper keyboard boy. Woody's on mute because Jenny's got the balls. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. You, you're right there, Woody, because you're talking in a high pitched voice. <laughs> oh, that was you, Woody? Yeah, that was me, uh, Woody. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, 
All right, I'm bleaching some rocks in the bathroom. My entire bathroom smells like bleach. <laughs> What does the earth ground look like a dung beetle in the sun? Yeah. Mickey, jump on. I'll tell you what, Woody. When I took these rocks in off the fire escape, they were looking dirty. And after just a few days in like running through like bleach, look clean. They look good, yeah? Yeah. Did you get the bit? You went to the hardware store earlier, didn't you? Did you yeah, 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 yeah. I got the bit. So when are you going to sit all up? Um, You're going to wait till you get back? When I get back, I fly out the next morning, Woody. So I'm really going to try and see if I could get it up. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. You're above average. As soon as I said that, I regret it. But hey. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna see if I can get it up, Woody. If I can't get it up, then... <laughs> use a lolly stick and some sellotape. Yeah. Hmm. This, is, this is what I used to raise me. What are you up to, Paul? The light's playing funny buggers. Look at that. He ain't paid the electric bill, is he? Ah. <laughs> Wait, so it's flashing. It's going on. Huh? That's that magnesium going up too high. It's on there. It ain't the Alexa or anything doing it, is it? Well, look at that. Whoop, 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 whoop. I'll leave off for a bit, see what happens. I'm going to sit here for a bit. Wind the wife up. Hey, Kelly. <laughs> so, I'll say hello to you, hello. It's off. <laughs> <laughs> Go in bed in a minute. Why watch work out, Michael? People have been asking. Bed night day at home. Yeah. Two seconds. So he's not. So he's not coming on to talk to us. We see how it goes. No. I believe that's open. I see. I'll see how it goes, Michael. I'm kind of hurt. Mike said his new job's a pole dancer. Ooh. I mean, can he fit on a pole? Fucking <laughs> <laughs> okay, hell. No. Hey, just, I mean, I just asked what everybody was wondering. <laughs> but that's just rude, Simo. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> these British, it's these British guys influencing me. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. I feel terrible. Uh, where is my dosing line? Uh, I've got loads of dosing line about loads. Yeah. It's pretty good, right? Alec! Like Alec! Gotta say in Jamaican, Alexa. <laughs> Some ladies. Hey, yeah. I've asked the question more. I've asked the question multiple times and nobody's. Oh, it's Ozzy. Hey. Right. I didn't know whose tank this was on display, and I really wanted to know. 
Hey, what up, Mike? What up, son? How was work, bro? Phone call. It's good. <laughs> I can't find my phone. What the heck? Wow. You see, it was funny before because everyone wanted to know what you was doing. Paul Dancer. We told, him, we told him you were a truck driver. I have, I have to, it has to be yeah, I, a pole dance on a reinforced floor and a reinforced sta- ceiling with scaffolding. <laughs> In a truck. In a truck. <laughs> on the motorway. It's vigorous. <sighs> I'm in bed now, me. Hey. What a nut day. Oh. <sighs> so you're working from home and you're in bed early. But when you work, <laughs> when you do manual jobs, you go to bed <laughs> in the morning. I was just <laughs> about to ask him. I was just about to ask him. Working from home is hard, right? Yeah, it's tired me right out. <laughs> commuters think, you know, it's easy. You just sit at home on your butt all day and do anything. It's almost like a lot of times you end up working more. You either procrastinate and get fired, or you work harder than if you were going to an office. Well, to be honest, right, I got up at six this morning and started work straight away. And then I had a coffee, I had some cheese on toast, and then carried on working. And I didn't, and I didn't, I, I literally, I set myself a finish time now. I set myself a finish time for five. So, like, I finished that five. So, but I, I, I did as much work as I normally do. On, well, I did as many hours as I normally do on the truck. So, what what is the new job at? Uh, Pardon? <laughs> What's the new job? Man? Pole dancer. Ah, oh, man, thank you. mate, you <laughs> want to see, you want to see my man cleavage around that pole? <laughs> Tell ya, it's no. next, it's next level, awesome. People, with just all the men and the women just go <laughs> and run. <laughs> No, Stian. He said all the pole dancers I know, they managed to stay up all night. This is why he was being clever, because it's only half past nine. So what he's doing, he's going to bed now, so he can get up about one. <laughs> no, no, I'm not, because there's different levels of pole dancing. I, te- I teach a pole dancing class for fitness. <laughs> and that's during the day. Thickness he's smoking thickness. His <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for thickness. <laughs> so F-I-K. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Oh. What am I doing with my life? He's got the mm-hmm. night shift. Yeah, he's got the night shift, Ian. Not pole dancing, Seymour. I'll teach you. Night nurse. <sighs> The funny thing is, Michael, what's, what, well, I think what's annoying people, because people know that I know, Seymour knows and Woody knows, we all know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know anything. I'm asking legit, like I don't know. No, because he didn't He didn't come in the car when I told you, remember? I don't unless know. You've told know. No, unless you've told him. No, I'm not. Unless you I've not told him, and he didn't come in the car, car when I told everybody. Oh, no. You said me not, I'll tell anyone. No, yeah. <laughs> All right, so, so that's how we're going to behave now. All right, cool. I got you. <laughs> you missed your chance, son. It was like a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. And it got, I'm in Memphis. We'll screw you then. All right, well, <laughs> all right, I see. I see how life is. I got you. Right, I'll tell you what Michael goes. <laughs> <laughs> Accidentally on purpose. Yeah. I see how life is. Seymour, is a gigolo. All right. <laughs> That also has a pole in the back of his truck. Miss hey. Reaper. You do private parties? <laughs> That's not in that like the whole the whole part of being a gigolo. <laughs> hey, maybe, maybe you do public parties. You don't know. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> that I, well, I'm not old enough yet, but that's borderline a lemon pie. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I got a recent Yeah, what is going on with that blast thing? Whatever it is, right there. You see that that coral there? Yeah, it's melting. Yeah, what is going on there? Is that uh, is that normal? Thing? 
So put your thing, see where the arch is between the rock and it. If you just tickle that bit, because you never, you never neglect that bit. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Well, well, Michael's not going to stream again. <laughs> Uh, you, can't, you can't forget the stinking bridge. <laughs> uh, told you you shouldn't have let me come in. <laughs> so what I'm thinking, should I, should I cut that with a razor blade? Maybe or... no, 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 no. No, just leave it. It'll probably like if it's it if it's going to probably attach to the bottom bit of rock. Yeah, it if it's going to come up, it'll it'll come up. It's weird, isn't it? The thing is with blast doors, if you, if you cut blast doors, they can go one way or the other. They'll either end up shriveling up and dying or thriving. So it's, they're a pain in the bump. Like mine, I... Or <laughs> <laughs> a pain in the balls. <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, Steam wants uh, the explanation between phosphates and, and uh, nitrates, the imbalance between the two. Go on, Michael, why don't you do that before you go to sleep? What the Redfield ratio? Yeah, just give me a quick rundown with it because you're better than me. Um, the balance is 106 carbon to 14 nitrate to one ppm of phosphate. So 14 ppm nitrate, one ppm phosphate, and 106 carbon. The only problem is you can measure carbon. So you it's can. a little bit. Well, you can what? No. Oh, you can now. Oh yeah, we got the new flipping Triton kit, haven't we? Yeah. Um, well, there you go, then it's going to be even easier then to do the uh, thingy method. But so you've got to have, you've got to have a balance. Bearing in mind the fo so forget the carbon for now. Bearing in mind the fourteen to one is not a accurate figure; it's uh, a gauge. So you've got to have a, basically a balance between the two. You know what I mean? And you know that distance of balance ish. So if it's, I don't know, um, seven um, nitrate, then you're going to want 0.5 phosphate and so on. You know what I mean? To, to finger. But again, it's only a, a guide and you can be, you know, a little bit off either way, but that's sort of like the correlation between the two. There you go, Stian. See, learn something new every day on here, if you didn't know. Oh, yeah, yeah, Shane, right? said, Shane said you blast all the giblets. <laughs> yeah, I think I think his water's a bit warm. I mean, if he cools his tank down a bit, uh, yeah, right, yeah. right back up, mate. <laughs> yeah, a nice, yeah, a nice pack on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> whenever I get in the bath, if the water's too warm, yeah. <laughs> like, cold water goes in there, fucking tight, right back up. <laughs> yeah, I can see from here, twenty-six point three is a relaxing temperature. Aaron's Aquarium lowering the tone since 2007. <laughs> <laughs> Dev's in. Hello, Dev. Yeah, me, Miss Reaper, me daughter. Uh, it popped off. It popped off. It, <laughs> The plug came out of the door, sir, in a way, and all the magnesium that was in the pipe. No, 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 no. It didn't come off. You disconnected it twice. <laughs> so, it, it didn't come off. You disconnected it. Get away from your to throw you under the bus. Yeah. Hang on a minute. Let me just mute Seymour. So, <laughs> right. As I was saying, it accidentally on purpose came off twice. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Yeah. Yeah. What it is when I push my water bucket back in, it pulled the, the pipe out twice and dumped two lots of carbon. Uh, dumped two lots of um. Who, who, who jumped? Who popped out? <laughs> Sorry, Nick. Yeah, two lots of magnesiums dumped in, but a lot of it. And when it did it, I didn't stop the doors from dosing, so it dosed that days in and all. So it's. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. Why? Why don't you just dilute the triton with RO so it's not as potent? So if you have make mistakes like that, it's not going to cost you. You know, yeah. You, you can. A lot of people do. Seymour does it. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I mean, yeah, the thing is with me, you're you're doing, it that, doing it that way. way. Yeah, doing it that way. It's with me. It's increasing the same same double. It's what you got. It's, it's just filling the tubs up all the time. I can't be asked. You know what I mean? 
But he's, what do you dose now, Paul? 12 mil. He's well, just lazy. If you dilute it, you'd have to, you'd have to d- dose 24 mil. So you still put yeah. the same amount in. Just Yeah. You know what? If I did that with the magnesium and calcium, I'd be dosing 24 mil. And it'll be, it'll be the same. It'll be no, the same. It'll be the same amount. Same you know, the, the accident he had, if it really did dose a day's work, he would have had the same issue because it would have dosed the, the cable would have still been disconnected and it would have dosed a day's work. So the same thing would have happened. I understand what you mean. There's reasons to dilute Triton, but in Paul's case, his clumsiness would have still caused the same error. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, yeah, I've not had a single coral. I've not had a single coral die in a year. Do you know what I mean? Same more. How many have you had? <laughs> hey, Dev, Dev, you've come to a proper bitchy stream. Go <laughs> <laughs> me in. What I miss? Well, I, I've dosed like six weeks worth of magnesium into my tank. Nice. A magnesium? Oh, that's fine. Are you well, alive? Do you, you want to know what? Do you want to know what the magnesium is? Six hundred. 3,750. Are all your inverts upside down on the sand bed? <laughs> I can't see any. <laughs> I put exactly. <laughs> but, all right, um, the, fish, the fish will get fed. <laughs> if it makes me better, my calcium is hella high. My I'm test being... kits are v- vastly different readings. I don't know who to believe. Why, how, why? My Red Sea kit says it's about 325. My Hannah says it's higher than 600, aka it can't compute it. <laughs> you need to send an ICP test off. Yeah, one day maybe. <laughs> yeah. I don't, I don't know. Yeah. I've had, I've know. had my calcium up to 660 before, Dave. Yeah, yeah, I'm not super worried about it because I figure it will kind of work yeah. itself out. I was I've, I've had one come back from, from the ICP at 620 something. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but and it, the, my test was actually reading 400 and something. So that's the how way out it were compared to it. Well, there, there, there's hope it's not completely buggered. <laughs> but when I got the Hannah one and I tested with the Hannah, that was level with the ICP. Oh, really? Eh? Yeah. Yeah, so it's 600 plus. So basically, over two weeks in a row, it was reading at like 320. So I'm like, yeah, I need to really up this. So I up my dosing like 17 mil a day. I'm like, oh, I'll up itself over the next week or two. And I tested it again and it's still, it's like 325. I'm like, hey, that's BS. There's no way it's only went out five after 17 mil upping my dose. So then I was like, okay, I'll test with Hannah. And then Hannah's like 600 plus. I'm like, ah. So I don't really know what it is right now. But I lowered my dose back down to be more level for alkalinity. So, okay. So we'll get some of. Is water a bit of my water? All we need. Anyone got any I uh, KH? <laughs> okay. Will this trade water <laughs> to the farmers? Who needs a dose? Will this water swap? Yeah, well, that's it. If anyone needs any calcium, he'll send you some of his water. I'll send you some of my water if anyone needs any magnesium. Yeah. <laughs> if we mix all our three tanks together, we'll have perfect parameters. <laughs> it's like iodine when I sent the iodine test off and it came back 600 and something, and it should have been 60. <laughs> I'd love it, eh? So, what, 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 what was your... Paul, have you checked your calcium? Yeah, yeah I've, I've checked the calcium twice. It's, it's around 465. Because if you have high magnesium, won't that lower the calcium? Like sub, uh, suppression? Something. It should be. I don't know. Couldn't there is a weird people. balance there. I can never remember which way it works, though. I don't know either. I mean, I've heard that, but honestly, I've had high calcium, high magnesium, and one has never precipitated or buffered the other or anything. It just kept going and going and going. (laughs) Excuse me. The negative effects of magnesium inverts, is that one of them? Yes, you can kill your inverts. Positive effect is it can get rid of biopsis, I hear. <laughs> I don't have any of that. But inverse wise, oh, I've only got, got snails, I've got shrimps. In fact, I do have a shrimp. I like. I've got a big ass one with some. 
Don't you have a bunch of shrimp in your sump, Paul? No, I fed them to me fish, but I still got one. Oh. If it's not dead through the magnesium. That's the question. I'll leave this film. I'll leave this film. I'll leave this film. I'll leave well, double check and let us know, Paul. We're intrigued. That's a pod. That's not a shrimp. <laughs> kind of pull a fossil on it. You're like, look at my tiny shrimp, aka amphipod. Yeah. I need to find the shrimp now, don't I? Being here somewhere, it must probably tell me it moved. Oh, it's alive, it's there. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it. You can see the screen. No, it's alive. That's good. I'm going to coming up. You might be able to see it. Yeah. There see. you go. See it. Yeah, it's alive. I see that's, that's, that, that's a feeder shrimp. That's, that's a feeder shrimp. We're not supposed to live in salt water. That's been in there for what, about three months? Yeah. Going but strong. The climate's eyes to it. Well, I was, I was going to I fed the rest to the fish. I was going to feed that one, but I thought, you know what? I'm hanging in there. I'll see how long it lasts. Yeah. So far, so good. Going yeah. strong. Everything's looking really well in the tank. To say that, like these. Uh, see, at first I thought I put fresh water in and tested the fresh water, so that's why it wasn't changing. But it's definitely not. It's definitely super, super high. Like my calcium. Here's the high parameters. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Can't beat enjoy it. Someone got a fish cupboard like this. Dude, I got a whole shed like that full of fish stuff. <laughs> fish stuff. Look at it. I hope it's not. Ooh, I got a new reef toy soon. Ooh, ha. Got a good shot on my nose. <laughs> Go on, Dev. What you got coming? But you're gonna have to wait for my video, but I haven't opened. The, I haven't opened the box yet. It's just some stuff to make it prettier. Hey, Dev, come on. This is a sneak peek channel. It's Still such a tease, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? Does it all the time? Hey. Kick him off, Paul. Michael. Michael, what's what I tell you? I'll tell you tomorrow. <laughs> Michael, stand there, bend over, and show us the top of his phone. Wait, what is a hey, Devin supposed to be showing or something? No. I was just teasing. It's a vertex. It's a vertex skimmer. Nope. It's oh, such it's a from vertex. Oh no one will want to watch my videos if I show you ahead of time. Let me ask you, Kevin. <laughs> do you know what Neptune is launching tonight? Mm, no comment. Uh, you do <laughs> see. Oh, you do. Of course he does. Hey. Are you joining my controller stream tomorrow? <laughs> no. Nope. What? No, literally. No, literally, I'm not. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm just trying to look at Dev's board behind him. Yeah, see what he says on it. <laughs> it always tells you at the back of him. <laughs> what do we got? Oh, that's all old. It's all my old live streams. I've already done all those ones. I had a bunch of special guests the last like few weeks. One day I'll update the board. Control controller um controller live streams always get super super geeky or aggressive. <laughs> well, it may be talking about some new products, comparing some products. Who knows? It'll be good. Who knows? You know. <laughs> no, Share the love. <laughs> do you like do you like my style and new marine evil shirt? Kind of made me laugh. What is it? I just care about reef tanks and I like what? Maybe, Maybe three people. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> who's who's t-shirts that? Huh? Who's that? Who's t-shirts that? Oh, that's from Marine Depot. It's one of their new shirts. Oh uh, yeah, it's cool. Oh yeah, I can see the fish. Yeah, little little MD fish. It says Marine Depot on the back. Michael, it says Depot. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Made me chuckle. I liked it. Yeah, I like that. I, all my clothing is going to be fish-related soon. 
Medicine when is Neptune, Neptune Trident coming out? There is no date yet. I ask the same question like every couple weeks. <laughs> it's still in. It's not even in beta testing yet. So I don't know. My blind guess. I've, maybe I've just seen the most amazing bit of equipment ever. What is it? I can't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on a minute. Listen. Right. No more, no, no more of these uh, teases on the channel. <laughs> Sorry. But I did. I saw it. Yes. Uh, what day is it today? A bell and tease. Is it Tuesday or Wednesday oh, today? I, I know remember. something. I know something. I know something. Do you want me to tell you? you you're not no. like this. But I'm not going to tell you. What? <laughs> I'm gonna tell you. Oh, you'll have to watch this channel. You'll have to watch this channel in 397 days, and I'll tell you. <laughs> 397 <laughs> over a year. Dang, who's gonna remember that? Part? <laughs> all right, I I was playing with the whole Alexa Apex integration thing all day, so I've been trying to find all the useful aspects of it. So I filmed some video clips on that today. Oh, if you connect, what have you connected something to it? Yeah, I can get all kinds of stuff. What, but it's all for the Apex. It's all for the Apex. It won't tell you, though. No, I can tell you. I'll tell you that. Is it through the Apex? Huh? Is it all running through the Apex, or? Yeah, it's in integrating Alexa with the Apex. Yeah, not interested. <laughs> I don't have an Apex. <laughs> but um, this will be good. I can turn my telly on with it. What's that? But I can turn my telly on with it, with the Alexa. Oh. I sat there the other day for like two hours and reprogrammed my little harmony thing. So I made a little macro for like turning on YouTube, for turning on Netflix, for turning on like everything. It, it even will hit like the smart button and over and over, then okay. Like completely take you to the right spot for everything now. It's great. Yeah, but you don't need to do that. Watch. Death. If you get a Google, you can just do this. Hey, Google, turn on TV. I'm afraid I can't find it. That's <laughs> mine. <laughs> That's mine. Just like that. Who's that? Who's That's that? mine. That's <laughs> mine. Oh, you can go home and press the button. Mate, I forgot that was... You know, to be honest, I completely forgot that thing was there. It scared the shiz out of me. Oh, hang on. This is going to be funny. Hey, Google. What's a reach around? Do it again. Do it again. Hey, Google. What's a reach around? Oh, she's not playing games now. She's just realized yeah. that your accent's not the same. Google what a reach around is. Hey, okay, Deb. Google. What's what? a reach around? On the website, yourdictionary.com, <laughs> they say manual stimulation of a sexual partner's genitals during <laughs> anal and vaginal intercourse from behind. <laughs> a nice thoughtful gesture, especially one performed to win favor or mitigate unfair treatment. <laughs> it's what. <laughs> <laughs> so next next time you're unfair to me and you, you treat me unfairly, Paul, you need to uh, to mitigate that with a reach around. <laughs> uh, great. Yeah, then, if, you get, if you get the Google one, it turns your telly on and Netflix and YouTube and all that. Well, you don't even have to do anything. It does it automatically. How do you do it? You see a lot. What? Hey, Google. But Turn on Big Bang Theory on Netflix. But do you have a Google TV yeah. thing on that? He has a Chromecast, I think. Yeah, you have yeah, a Chromecast, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. They don't have but, a Chromecast. Yeah, but if you've got the Fire Stick, you got the Fire Stick or Fire TV. No, I got one of those little Harmony hubs, which can control like anything from Logitech. So I just link that to Alexa. And then the Harmony, it's like an IR blaster. And you can literally tell it to any signal you want. You can tell it to do. Like, I could be like, turn on the fan. It'll be like, beep, beep, beep. Turn on the fan, put on oscillate, and they'll... Which, one, which one of the harmonies do you have, Deb? Which the harmony, harmony remote? I got, the, I got a remote, too. You have a remote? Yeah. Yeah, I got, I got the them. I guess the Harmony Ultimate, I think, and then with yeah. the hub with it. I have yeah. a couple of them. I've been using Harmony for years, and I love the fact that it just brings all my settings forward. And you're right, because you, when I heard you said macros, yeah, because, like, I have... Like I like for instance to get me up in the morning, I have my light slowly ramp up at six a.m. It turns on the TV, puts it on the news, and puts it at fifty percent volume to jump me out of my seat if I'm not up yeah. by a certain time. <laughs> nice. What are you talking good. about? What's it's it called? Good. Harmony what? Harmony, Harmony. 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 Yeah, that that will let you do it through like an app or stuff. If you want, you can get a remote to go with it. I have the Harmony. I think it's Harmony. What is called? 
And that works with the Google Mini well, thing. Uh, well, yeah, it, does. it works for Google too. What? Yeah. Yeah. So basically, yeah. So basically, you can create macros within the app. See, I have all these ones that I installed in mine. Right. So I can, like, for instance, I can say turn on or like I can say Alexa, turn on Prime Video, which is like the Amazon Prime one, yeah. and it will turn on the TV, turn on the app, put on the right input. It will push the smart button signal from on my remote, hit over, over, over to that menu option, hit OK, and basically launch it. Like you can tell it to do yeah, anything. Well, the Prime button. TV. Well, it, it works with. No, no, no. Listen, hey, Dev, I've programmed Netflix and chill, which turns on the AC and puts on Netflix. So <laughs> nice. my wife loves that. So I say, hey, awesome. Alexa, Netflix. <laughs> so in the dead of winter, when I want to annoy the heck out of her, I just start Netflix and chill, and it puts yeah. the AC yeah. on hot blast. That's awesome. Right. Right. Stop saying that, Alexa. Love it. Alexa's kicking in here. No, 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 no. Oh, see, Alexa was listening. Now she's turned on. Uh, <laughs> I know, mine, mine's kicking off here. Alexa, play Big Bang Theory on Netflix. Let's see if Alexa does it. Getting the Big Bang Theory from Prime Video. There you go. There you go. Oh, you've got a message on the chat. Oh, let's do this one. Alexa. <laughs> Call Jenny. Yes. Hey, watch this. Wait, is it calling for real? <laughs> yeah, watch. <laughs> yeah, I'm ringing. <laughs> <laughs> Answer it, Woody. Hello, Woody. Hello, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Alexa, angle. Awesome. <laughs> Love it. Hey, right. on Google, Dev, you can ring anybody, any mobile, any mm -hmm. landline. It doesn't go through your phone. Oh, it goes through Google Voice? Yeah, it goes through, it goes through Google Pay for all of it, like mobile That's and cool. landlines. Yeah. That's wicked. There's, um... Oh. I had one question for you, Dev. Do you know anything um, that you can use, like, uh, that measures humidity that you can get into the Harmony or Alexa? Because then... When I'm not here next week, I want to be able mm -hmm. to turn on my AC based on either the humidity level or the temperature inside my apartment. Any chance you have a Nest thermostat? No. Ooh, I mean, for Alexa. They, have, they, they do it off thing. Um, not offhand, but there is a whole slew of like smart sensors you can get. So I bet there's a temperature slash humidity combo one you can integrate. Do you have like a smart things hub or any of those? No, I don't. I was trying, I, I was look last night, I was looking at if this then that, see if I could do something with that. <laughs> Alexa, um, lights you know off. The service, if this then that, um, give me one sec here. So I was just maybe trying to do it off of if the humidity in New York or if the temperature in New York get you know gets to a certain level. Yeah. Um, Turn on your AC. Yeah. There's a bunch on like I just went looked on Amazon and there's like sensor push wireless thermometer humidity temperature sensor with alerts. Uh, I bet you could find one that would integrate. Yeah. I'm not sure which way I'm gonna go. So anything I buy now has to do you know maybe. Amazon and maybe all th all three preferable, but at least yeah. Amazon and Google. <clears throat> yes, right. Have you seen the? Uh, have you got them thingies there? What are they called? Uh, S on offs. The what? S on off. The, the little adapters that you can put onto electricals. Yep. I got a bunch of those. That's how I turn stuff on and off. And oh. you could, I, I use the, the Wemo. Um, they're not very good, but I have a bunch of them. I got them cheap. And you can actually program them to Siri and Alexa. So you can name them like I name one fan. So then anywhere you are, you could tell Alexa to turn on a fan. They only cost six quid. Oh, they cost six quid. See here, they're like $40. They're expensive. No, they're, they're, no, they're different. They're, they're one of, the ones I'm on about are different. Okay. You've got a lamp. So you've got your wire on your lamp. You cut the wire on the lamp, and all you do is you put it in between the wire, and that's the controller built into it. So it's a wireless controller built into it. Oh. 
Oh. If, 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 you call, if you just go on eBay, Dev, just type S on off. And have a look at them. The cheapest. Yeah, they're only about, they're about six quid or six dollars or something. But you can control anything with them that powers on and off by a switch. Okay, give me one second. I'll check it out. You know what? That's interesting. I didn't realize this stuff was so cheap now because the last time I bought this, it was expensive. Now I'm seeing switches here. You can get a three pack for twenty five dollars. Cheap. Yeah. I'm gonna find it. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll get it and I'll put it there. It is. So Amazon either. In fact, there's one there, three pound ninety five. Right. I'm gonna leave you geeks to it because I'm tired and going to bed. <laughs> All right. <laughs> See you okay. later. Hey, Deb, this is what I'm about here. Yeah. I'll share the screen here. We share the screen. Not that's it there. S on off. Okay. Nice. So all you do is put your wires in here. So like in off. Yeah, and it's fully controlled. So that's a timer socket. So look, so that's a wi Wi-Fi, and all of them control for Alexa and Google. Nice. Wait, Paul, what's the name of that website? Bang Good. That's uh, banggood.com. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I said, but they're all here. Look. AliExpress for the Ali sells them. AliExpress sells them for three eighty four. Super cheap. Hey, oh Paul, I got a question. That light we were looking at the other day that that was like a, a knockoff of a Radeon. Can you send me the link again? Which one was that? I think we we're. I forgot the name of it. I real. I it looks basically like a Chinese knockoff of a Gen three Radeon. Oh, that's the thing, though, isn't it? In that the the Jaguar one. I think that's the game, but I think uh, Dev Major's going to do one team up. Oh, my admission is for them. Yeah, but I want more than seven off. Do you know what I'm saying? I think that would be good. For the price of them. I'd say you could buy the plugs. So I have price of them. Let's buy price of the plugs. And they're that small because it's only attached to the wire. You can just hide it away. There's a bloke on, on uh, YouTube that's done a fire test for them. You know? He put like three or four times the voltage through. They didn't, they didn't set on fire, they just popped. It's not working. Yeah. Everyone's on there now. Everyone's got an electric on there. Everyone buying loads of them. Can Pukani rock leech of calcium? Mm, I don't think rock necessarily absorbs or leeches stuff. I think there could be when people say it leeches like phosphates and stuff, it's not really the rock, it's the bits of organic in the crevices of the rock. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't think a rock would really leach calcium or alkalinity. Limestone or something acts as like a buffer. Like that one can kind of will. But like a Pukani, I don't think so. Unless it literally had something trapped inside of it that it was just letting out slowly. That's my I think that, yeah, that, that's the thing that everyone gets. All of a sudden, to set up a new system, to start to get an eye phosphate, it's just that, oh, it's the rock. It's not the rock. It's just that, a lot of people over the feed straight away. I know most of you guys are in the UK. But if anyone orders anything from Reef Dudes in the next month, if you use the code Reef Dudes on check it, you get 10 bucks off an order of $100. What's that for Mac oh, No, for, um, actually, I got a code for that too. 10 bucks off Mac and Weekend Passes. If you use Reef Dudes 10 and on Marine Depot's website, if you use the coupon code Reef Dudes, that gives you 10 bucks off an order over $100. Oh, yeah. There you go. $10. Reef Dudes deals, buddy. Reef Dudes deals. I'm just waiting till you get your... One sec. Ellie, got a coffee? <laughs> Tea? A cup of tea. Oh. And a bacon butter. No, no, no. What, what, what do they always say that the British have? Tea and water. Cereal? That's a biscuit. It's a scone. A scone? Two. A scone? <laughs> It looks like a biscuit. In skull. I guess it could be a skull. Let's get the uh, trap light cups on and see people. <laughs> Sorry, I've got the kettle on the side of the computer. Evo LED. What are you buying at Magna Scones? 
Oh, the Mac is good. Yeah. I have uh, no idea. Uh, Magna. You'll be fine. Yeah, uh, Magna does. Oh, Mac the uh, buddy. I think he's called uh, uh, Cruz. Cruz is, uh, yeah, Cruz is, we're going out with Cruz for a meal. Is, Cru- is Cruz coming? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. He's going to take us all out. Well. Awesome. I said he knows a few good places to come to on tweet. That'll be, that'll be fine. So, yeah. Oh, cool. Oh. We're gonna try to hire a minibus. Like Cruz is gonna try to hire a minibus. <laughs> <laughs> the red rock and all. Wicked. That'll be cool. Hmm. Cruz is gonna be happy. I have sixty pounds of Miracle Med sitting on my floor right now. Won't be happy with the price that you paid for it. <laughs> Don't tell him that. <laughs> I'm amazed they shipped all this for twenty dollars for sixty pounds of the stuff. That's crazy. Look at all this mud. Uh, you can ship it from the states to Canada. It's freaking amazing. What are you going to do with all that mud? <laughs> That's uh, not- no! They charged me like $18 as a BC tax when I bought it, and that was it. That didn't charge me anything else, which was sweet. That's that nice- come from the UK. We would have had to pay uh, 20, 20% tax and then Ooh. a fee. Uh, yeah, yeah. Apparently, it would have cost a lot more. So, when it was only $18 for the tax, I'm like, sold. And 20 shipping. Okay. That's some new content. Tell me I made you coffee. coffee These babies. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here playing with the drill. What are you drill drilling? Bit. Oh man, you don't even want to know. I'm I do want to know. Bit. Uh, and Julian, he's kept it. I turned it on, and the bit I didn't tighten it properly. It flew off. Hit oh. the phone. Hit my phone Ooh. screen. Only Ooh. because I had like a screen on it. Look, how I shattered it. So oh. if I didn't have this on it, my phone screen would have been knackered. Yikes! <laughs> Good thing you had a protector on. Always, protection. always use protection, boys. Always use protection. No kidding. <laughs> or else. Phone's going to get cut. Mr. Reefer Fox, I don't think anyone's got the... Uh, I don't even think they've released yet. Them light. So I don't Are think, you talking uh, about the number drill three. knockoff? Yeah. The J-Ball that looks like a Radeon or the Kessel knockoff? <laughs> I think it's a, the, the J-Ball one. I don't but there, think it's out yet, is it? There's one that's Kessel looking, there's one that's Radeon looking. Yeah, I think they talked about the Radeon one. Okay. Which knockoff do you want? Oh, hey, although the j Gyre overall has been pretty decent. I'll I tell you have... what, Eco Tech over here, Dev. Right, my light, two year old. Got in contact with him, sent it back, they fixed it, sent it back 24 hours, boom. Oh, yeah, dude, their, their support is amazing. Like, Anyone I've ever talked to has been nothing but raving about their support. I mean, they're not cheap, but... Well, this is from the UK. I've never really had... No one ever really send anything back yet that I know. But I did it. Like I said, in fact, Seymour... It was Seymour at first, because he said... He rang Ecotech up in the US for me. Yeah. I mean, so like, I've really changed companies that many times on a uh, distributors and that. So I didn't know who we were. But Radium rang me from America. So they rang me up over it. He said, get in touch with this bloke, give me his number. They said ship it out and they shipped it back to me 24 hours. That's amazing. That's wicked. With a different serial number. Because I plugged it into the thing, it ended in 15. Now we've got a different serial number. Hey, who cares? Sent you a new one. That's sweet, though. That's awesome. That's how the casing's the same, but the insides are, are new. Yeah, they probably replaced the board in it. Yeah, the thing is, though, now that light, even though I programmed them both together and all that. That one seems to be doing better than the other one, so now the other, I bet the other one's on its way out. <laughs> oh, well. Send it back. <laughs> yeah. Well, trust totally me. Hard. Anything goes wrong, it will go straight back. Yeah, no yeah. matter. It's not a warranty, you know? Saying that, though, over here, warranty works different over here. That, yeah. Because they can it's, give you 12 months warranty. If it breaks within in three years... The law over here states it's got to be if you if you pay a certain amount it's got to be 
Well, what's, what, what, how do they say it, would it? It's got to be fit for purpose, hasn't it, for a certain amount of time? Fit for purpose for a certain amount of time, yeah. So if you buy it and they said it should last 50,000 hours and it only lasts you 10,000 hours, it's not fit for purpose. That means they've got to replace it no matter what. <laughs> that's kind of nice. Well, that's the last one over, so no matter what, they could say you've got 12 month warranty. You could say, no, 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 no. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Good deal for you guys. Oh, there's a lot of, a lot of stuff over here. That's what I mean. It's, it's stupid. You could buy a car five years down the line. You could say it's broke. <laughs> but how do they define like just like wear and tear like there's a part well, that needs I mean, wear and tear out. is a different thing but you gotta remember a light they expect that light to be on for about what 12 13 hours a day yeah you don't have it anymore so what how does wear and tear come into that it has to be well maintained though it can't be neglected they can't open yeah, it that's what I mean. they well, this is this is the problem you have right they say you're supposed to maintain them but when you open it to clean it does it void the warranty I don't know. You know what I mean, this I'm is where I'm trying to... As you ain't got a, um, a seal over that you don't have to break a seal to open something, like one of them void stickers over there. I think you guys right. got a lot of loopholes over there in grey areas. <laughs> well, that is the one, isn't it? It's like when you when you open it to clean the fan, you need to take the fan out to clean it. You've got to peel the stickers off inside it. But they're not warranty stickers, are they? I don't know. Has, does it say warranty void if removed? <laughs> No, that's a good oh, thing. And you're good. <laughs> Your mind just started turning on and off itself. So it started turning on, turning back off, turning on, and doing its own little dance moves. Oh, fancy. Got some moves. <laughs> then it'll go on full power, and then the fan starts spinning like mad. Yeah. When's the Gen 5 coming out? I don't know. It's got to be soon, isn't it? I don't know. Oh. How long since four has been out? Like two years now? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. I don't know. I've not heard any of those. Yeah, yeah. Well, this is a big thing. Every two years I've brought them out and not brought a new one out. That's what but I'm saying. Do you bring something out? If it's not broke, don't fix it. Well, the other the other thing is too, like personally, I don't know what they'd really improve on it. Like, I don't know. I, I have Gen 4s, like they're wicked. Like they'd have Make to be something quiet. awesome. Mine are pretty quiet though. <laughs> you've got the you've, yeah, but you've got the XR 15s, haven't you? The XR 30s are noisy, aren't it? Well, you should follow my advice and get the 15s. <laughs> <laughs> got 15s. Yeah. The thing is, though, it's cheaper to buy two 15s than it is to buy a 30, isn't it? Or on the same price. Yeah, it's about the same. And then you can spread out the pucks. You got better light distribution. Unless you have a super deep tank or super wide, and you need those double pucks. Then I don't know. I think 15s are smarter. Yeah, I like them. I said I want to two of them. As, as, as somebody who's de who's had both, I definitely think the XR50. If you don't mind, the the only downfall I see is dealing with multiple more plugs. That's it. It's half the size, half the price. So it's not like you're getting a better value by buying bigger. But the 15s are definitely quieter. Like the fans only run when needed. The 30s, the fans are on all the time. It's two pucks, and then you could space it out better. Like, I needed two XR30s to cover a four-foot tank when you can use two or three XR15s spaced properly to cover a four-foot tank. So it's definitely a better value. Yeah. And the noise. I'm tell Like, at night, sitting out here, the fans were the loudest thing on the tank, and they run all the time. All you know the it's, time. You know what's kind of stupid overkill, but I might do? Do you know how I have in my sump, I have that extra one down there for my frags? Yeah. I might not do a frag tank in my sump, and if that's the case, I might throw that one on top, and then I'll have five on top. It's going to be ridiculous. It's going to be like freaking like tiny gap between all the lights. But I can run them even lower percentage, and the fan should never come on. It's the glitch. Hello. So, I haven't decided if it's worth the effort or doing that or not, but there's potential there. I just like the fact that the fans would never come on and you'd have more par because you'd have more overlap. Right, why is my screen staying on? There's a reason for this and I can't remember out of it. Because it likes you, Paul. I don't want my face being on all the time. What's the thing? I don't... There's a way to do it I can't remember how I do it. I would do it. Just click on, just if you're clicked on yourself, whatever person you click on is what they'll focus. Just click on it again to take it off. And then she just jumped whoever is talking. 
Yeah, it usually does that, but it's not doing it. It's just staying on me when I click off it. If I click on you, it'll stay on you. If I click off you and not click on nothing, it's supposed to bounce from present and it's not doing it. No, it's on Woody right now. Is it? Yep. It's changing for me. On me, it's just showing me. What are you looking at, though? Hangouts or YouTube? Hangouts. Yeah. On YouTube, I just got the chat up. See, on my one, on Hangouts, it's staying on Dev. <laughs> so it's staying on Dev on mine, it's staying on me. Yep. Mm -hmm. So what do you think, Paul? Is 5XR15's overkill or amazing? I think uh, we, I think it's the right way. Low yeah. percentage, stop them fans running, better spread. It'll be if like, I could, like if I can afford another one, I'd put one in the middle. Yeah. So I already have it, so it doesn't cost me anything. I would lose my frag rack in the thumb. But at the same time, the tank will be bigger and I'll just be wanting something to grow rather than fragging it. Will you need to extend your bracket though? Or will your nope, bracket I'll keep, be nope. I'll keep the same bracket. I'll just look less in the spacing between the lights and hope the weight doesn't make the light barm slag at all. It's a no brainer then, isn't it? If you're not going to do the frag. Yeah. Yeah. I'm on the fence on the frags and the stuff. I'm back and forth at the moment. But. Guys, see more. See more. See more. See more. See more. Apex. 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 Apex is going to be on my live stream tomorrow, talking about something new tomorrow, Reaving with O. Yes, they are. We, we can't make it, so you might as well tell us now. Can't. I know nothing. <laughs> wait, wait till we go off, offline then, when there's only a couple of us on the hangouts. I know nothing. <laughs> hey, you tell us that, we'll tell you what Michael's new job is. <laughs> Maybe. I already know. <laughs> Ooh, is that a good swap? Hey, that's a good trade, though. It definitely knows. <laughs> What if I already know what it is? Yeah, I can say Dev probably already knows. Dev knows all. Come on now. Michael, what's all listening with you? You better not tell anyone. I actually haven't tested my tank yet today. I should. I tested it yesterday, though. You know, if you're low on magnesium, just shout me out, I'll send you some water over. You should bottle it up and sell it. <laughs> I should, you know. Let's go with this, you'll be good. Like I said, I've just turned the magnesium off now, it's completely off. I'll just let that drop naturally over the next few weeks. Next few months. Dev. Yes? Is, if if you raise the calcium in, a, in, in the reef tank, would it drop the magnesium? Or is it the other way around? If you drop, if you I, raise the mag, it will lower the calcium. I, I can't remember. It, yeah, I think it's the other way. If you have high mag, it will. I think it does lower screw with. I don't know if it's calcium or elk, but, but I'm pretty sure it was high mag that affected whatever else it was. I so if he's got it. high magnesium, it will lower his calcium. I yeah, think it, 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 calcium seems to have gone up. What the KH has dropped. Yeah, that might be that might be the way it might have it might help buffer the KH. That's right. I remember now. The higher the magnesium, the more calcium you can hold in the water column, and it will yeah. lower the KH. So what yeah. you need to do is raise the KH, and it will lower the magnesium. Is that the right uh, one? I I always get lost. I just know there's a relation. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, I remember now. That's it. You need to. The, the, the higher the, the magnesium, the more calcium the water column will hold. Mm -hmm. it, but it helps the calcium um, not pr uh, precipitate in the water. So you'll be able to hold more calcium and it will lower your KH. You need to keep an eye on your KH ball, basically. Yeah, yeah. Don't let, you need to test that every day, man, while that's <coughs> that high. Definitely. Yeah. Miss yeah. Reefer Fox, yeah, my magnesium is over 3,000 and my water is not slimy enough. Yeah, I would, I would just keep it. I would up, I would up. Yeah, I would definitely think about up in the, the KH. Definitely, I wouldn't let that drop below eight. At that it's point. Seven point one. <laughs> it's what? What is your KH? Seven point one. Fucking hell, that's just like tip timing on no, what you're doing. You need to raise it up, Paul. You need to raise it up, man. Slowly, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't have it that low. So what do you think? Not with that high magnesium. 
when one casket reads 320 Kelsey and the next one reads over 600. The magnesium helps bind calcium to the water and KH and calcium affect each other in regard to the pH. And all that the magnesium is a seesaw in it, so when one goes up, it drops the other. And if it goes down, yeah. it drops the other side. Yeah, so if your magnesium's low, then that balance is more exaggerated, right? Where if your magnesium's yeah. in a happy zone, it's more like the referee buffer that kind of keeps it more level. It yeah. stops the corals from uh, from absorbing too quick. So you might find you get that the thicker skeletons as well. Because well, they'll grow too quick and then they'll brown out as well. Oh. That's another thing. Of course they will. They'll brown yes. out easy with that high. Yeah, of course they will. You need to you need to um You're arguing with yourself. You <laughs> You're like, of course they will. I'm like, I'm not arguing. Um, in my nano tank, you just made me think of this. Some of my, a couple of my SPS have been like crazy growth, but it's way skinnier than the stock below it. So I wonder if there's any correlation there. I assumed it was because I don't have the powerheads blasting it like I did in the other tank. So it's very low flow where they are. So they don't need to be as thick and beefy. But maybe there is a thing based on the elements. Yeah. Now I remember hey. reading, um, I remember reading, uh, if you're, especially if your magnesium and your, your calcium is going to be too high, you'll they'll grow the the skeletons will grow different on the corals on the especially the SPS, and yeah. they'll grow thicker and then they'll grow they'll they have a brown colour to them. Okay. Right, so what's Miss Reefer said here? Mag kicks the I found that red sea bubble as low 1200 mag. But see, in fact, the glitch, the glitch, the glitch, the glitch, the uh, ATM salt there, what's the magnesium in it? Does it tell you? I don't think it does, does it? On the red sea? Not the red sea, the ATM. Uh, so I've got a bucket of ATM salt. But if the fritz is better, I'll just ring that up and get some fritz. Only thing you can do is lower the salinity slowly, and that reduces your that reduces your levels, obviously. But I mean, you're fucking. I don't know. I mean, that's a fuck up, isn't it? I you stop swearing. You're all in trouble. <laughs> well, uh... <laughs> I'm alright. It's okay with swearing, but we do it constantly. People are like, gotta keep it kid friendly. <laughs> oh, to be honest, I think there's there. little wee reefers out there. <laughs> fourteen hundred, so fourteen hundred. For some princes, that'll be too. See, fourteen hundred is lower than isn't it? It's about right. It's bang on level, isn't it? Yeah. Da -da 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 -da. It's downstairs in the cupboard after mixing a batch. No, you guys. Do you guys have any brands of aquarium controllers out there, Paul? Yeah, Aquarica. Yeah, Aquarica. Yeah. What's uh, it called? Aquatronica. Obviously, we've got the GHL, the Prophylax. What else you got? Inside, mate. Swear all you want, mate. He was like. I think we've only got three, haven't we? I'm sure we've only got three. Equitronica, GHL, and Apex. Yeah. Wait. We got GHL, Neptune yeah. Systems. We got Vertex. No matter how oh, yeah, yeah, you, yeah, you got a Vertex. Vertex it is. Yeah. You have um, the e Coro. You have Tunzi. It doesn't control everything, but you have Tunzi. You have Reef Keeper. You got a couple of them. Oh, that's okay. I'm just setting up my live stream for tomorrow. I was just trying to think of different controllers just to randomly throw in there. Oh, scum. <laughs> well, I'm going to knock on the head, boys. Yeah, no I'll, worries, um, brother. I'll catch you on the next stream, eh? Oh, yeah. where are you from? Right, where well, are you from? Come back, come back anytime, mate. I couldn't no. eat. <laughs> uh, Portsmouth, I'm from, man. Portsmouth, huh? <laughs> yeah. Sound a bit look like you got a bit London in you. Nah, that's, we, they always say we've got a London accent, some of us, like from Portsmouth. <laughs> yeah, they call us the fake Cockneys down there.
<laughs> nah, nah, you're the real, you're the real companies up there. Don't worry about it. <laughs> All right, boys. Catch you later. See you later. Yeah, see you later. See you later. Peace. Peace. Okay. All right, mate. Right. That's a funny guy. I like Ozzy. Come yeah. back anytime, mate. <laughs> Cheerio, mate. Cheerio. Hey, Woody. We got a new cockney, Woody, so. <laughs> But I'll bum. I like talking British for some reason, just for fun. Yeah, mate. No, no, right, mate. no, Dave, you think you're talking British, but it's more Jamaican. Probably. <laughs> nah, fam. Man, welcome right, to bro. the live stream. Nah, fam. <laughs> right, blood. Yo, fam. Want wow, some of that blood? No, uh, blood talk. Yo. Yo, some of that blood, yo. Yo. Come and do your come. chicken. Do, do, your do you British? Grill. Do my British? What do you want me to say? Hey, give me some, um, give me Anything some bushy peas. Give me some of that bushy peas. your live stream tomorrow. On my live stream? Okay. Yeah. So, do, okay, does anyone get offended if I try and talk in different accents? No, yeah, don't say <laughs> that. That was my theory. My wife's always just like, ah, oh, stop it. People are going to be offended. I'm like, nobody cares. I'm like, it's just no, fun. I was like, it's a compliment. I'm trying to I learn from them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care, mate. I do it all the time. I hear it and I try and mimic it. <laughs> I don't know. I just have fun doing it. All right, mushy peas. Just say mushy peas, and you got the Manchester accent down pat. You know the mushy peas. Yeah. <laughs> what, what what accent is that? I don't know. Manchester Ashton Overline. <laughs> Ashton Overline. Some tea and a bacon butty. <laughs> Paul lives at Ashton Underline, so that's the Ashton Overline. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Bum, bum. You know what? I don't even know why you're laughing. Seymour, this is laughing at Seymour. <laughs> I don't know if she's laughing because he's funny or laughing because he's a dick. Bloody melons. Not yet. Come on, though. Do you cut me? <laughs> nah, <mate>. <laughs> <laughs> yep. TMG makes me laugh when he does it. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it's all right, Woody. I'm going to go down the apples and pears, you know what I mean? That's it. Yeah. Apples and pears. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I forgot them. I for man, I for Woody, there was like a whole weekend where I studied all the Cockney rhymes and now I forgot. What's a dog and bone? Hey, Woody, you... You got some bacon and eggs. <laughs> bacon and eggs means bacon and eggs. Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> What's dog and bone? I uh, don't know. Phone. No, no, no. Oh? Poppy oh. says no. I don't know. She's screaming at something. See, my salinity is spot on, so the magnesium's got nothing to do with salinity. No, Paul, to be honest, I wouldn't. There's nothing wrong with your tank. I wouldn't touch nothing. Just let yeah, it be. Don't try and. Don't try and You'll mess with it more. Yeah, there's no point. You'd end up crashing your tank or saying. Uh, test test shoes is over. It just makes you panic. <laughs> no yep. more test shoes. It's finished forever. What was your <laughs> about your tank? What was your opinion about your tank before you done the test? <laughs> Awesome. There you go. Just knock out the test, and it's still awesome. Super duper. Everything looks mint. Minty, minty fresh. Everything looks mint. Oh yes, PS is coming like that. Everything's got white tips. Beautiful white tips. And no matter how much I smash that acro, would it? It just grows back twice as fast. That's what I'm saying. You've got bigger growth tips now. You got above average growth tips now. <laughs> in, uh, in oh, this tips. Above average, Seymour. You want to see it though? My daughter's just sent me some text messages for Seymour. So his missus can go shopping for my daughter. <laughs> How's your tank going, Dave? Fabulous and wonderful. He's another. Yeah. Well, the big tank's doing well. They're 
trolls in the net are doing awesome. The fish, not so much. They hoodie me, dummy. We need to get some t-shirts for like me, you, Dev. Uh, not Seymour. Me, you, Dev. Michael, do you want know, proper reefer t-shirts? Proper reefer? I just like yeah. Not for yeah, not for Seymour though, because he's not a proper reefer yet. <laughs> I'll see if I can come up with something cool for design. You've got to have proper reefer on it, though. Yeah. That's what the caption will say, proper reefer. Is it... Do we say it... Would it do we say it proper with an E-R or with an A? With an A. Proper Definitely yeah, with an A. Proper reefer. They're either going to think we're reef geeks or stoners. Go either way. <laughs> or dyslexic. Yeah. One of the many. Oh, yeah, do proper, do proper reefer and have the coral, have some SPS coral that looks like a reefer. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I don't think they'll let us in. <laughs> Get out of here. You're at the wrong conference. Yeah. <laughs> the coral, I promise. Get out of here. Riff raft. Hmm, I might come with something good. We'll see. I yeah, still got it. Re proper reefer will be good. Yeah. So I'm, against, I'm ignoring the chat. Sorry, people. Proper reefer. Yeah. I have one other shirt to bribe the wife for first. Once she designs my, my cartoony guy for that one, then I'll see if I can get her to do something cool for that. You got to bring a free t shirt for everyone. Well, I don't know about free, but I can design it. <laughs> if you, yeah, Dev, Dev, right? Do do design a proper reefer T-shirt. Yeah, mate. Right. Do yeah. it. And if, if it's good, I'll get one. Yeah. Get, if it's got all our names on it as well, that'd be blinded. Yeah, Dev, get proper reefers and put our names on it. Like if you put our names at the back, yeah. Like reef community worldwide, would it? You know, like Aaron's Aquarium, I mean, do it. And well, yeah, that'll be that would be good. I think it'll be good. Yeah, much it's gonna cost, and we'll send you the money. Huh? I that know. could work too. That'd be fun. We're going to end up in one big group anyway. Yeah. It'll be good. I'm so excited. What is your strip clubs? Proper reefer. <laughs> <laughs> Proper reefers. Oh, can have above average reefer. <laughs> Yeah, he's coming, he's coming. Yeah, I, heard, I heard his phone tickle then. <laughs> Woody, I thought we were cool, Woody. Woody, you've been replaced. You're no longer the resident cockney. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the one and only cockney. I'm the only one from East London. No. Everyone else everyone else is cardboard cockneys. Ozzy's a substitute. We can use Ozzy as a substitute. <laughs> oh, nice. No. Aquarium controllers. Um, Thanks, try stop. Well, oh. time away. The other time go. Save changes. Man, I'm wanted today. I just created the event for tomorrow's live stream. That normally happens like an hour beforehand. At least people will know. I'm on the ball, man. I'm on the ball. Except where's my icon? Why didn't you do my picture? All this effort making a photo and YouTube didn't like it. File's too big. La -da -da. Right. Yep, pretty much, eh? Yeah, that's me for the night anyway. I'm done. Done? I'm watching everything on the live stream. I'm gonna see you more. Working tomorrow, Paul? I am here, yeah. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. So, Dev, I got a question for you. You're a DIY guy. You betcha, buddy. If I'm trying to drill through wood, do you use yep. like a lower speed on the drill or a higher speed? Well, I usually go slow until it starts, until you have the beginning of a nice hole so it doesn't skip around. Then after that, I'll go faster. He's got, he's, got a, he's got a hole saw, isn't he? He's got the drill bit in the center, so he should be all right. Just don't yeah, have yeah. a hammer. Don't yeah. have a hammer. Make sure it's on drill. Once it gets going, usually fine. What torque setting you got? Um, I got from 
four to eighteen, I guess. Yeah, put it back centre so you don't grab and break your wrist. Are you doing your cover now? Are you drilling the Red Sea? Yeah. Just make sure you get the vacuum on it to suck it all up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't worry about that. You'll start us in the sump. Oh, yeah. Don't go through your new fancy acrylic sump either. That's no good. Yeah, but it'd be funny, wouldn't it? <laughs> right, everyone, I'm going. I'll try. I'm going. So everyone, thanks, thanks for coming in. Freaking uh, kidding me. <laughs> What's up with that? I emailed Hannah and asked him about the pipettes for that little, because you know the new ones, they come with that little calcium doser or whatever for that dosing your point mill one of water. How much do they want for it? $27. Seriously? For a sunny syringe, it should be $2. Yeah, I've, got, I've got a tip for you, right? Stick it on eBay for the price of the new one. Someone will buy it. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> that is ridiculous. Oh, just put it like ten dollars cheaper than a, a, a new one. You know what I mean? Sell it. Yeah, I know. That is brutal. So see why I did mine. I used all these things inside them. You know all these tests. I didn't get two tests left. And for the new test, it was twenty-five quid. Yeah. So I sold it for the price without the tests. For the same price, they could have bought a new one with, with the tests. So. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm just gonna sell it. I don't so, use it very often because the refills are overly priced. The refills are overly priced, yeah. They, they are very expensive. Yeah. They are. Yep. Alkalinity is not bad. Calcium is expensive. I think it works out like over here. It works like a pound a test. Yeah. So that's like $12 in yours. <laughs> What's it? Okay. Calcium refill, $41. For how many tests does that give you? 25 Yeah. That's freaking, that's like two bucks a test. That is that's ridiculous. Insane. So That's expensive. why I use it like once a month because it's too expensive. I'm gonna sell it. Sell it. I sold mine. Yeah, the whole checker is sixty nine dollars Canadian. I'm gonna sell. I'm gonna throw it for like fifty or sixty bucks and just I sell sold it. Mine, and then I bought the with the money I got for it. I bought the calcium test, magnesium test, nitrate test, and two refills. From two what? refills for the Hannah tests. You know, for the phosphate and K8. Yeah. What do you use for calcium? Which brand? It's your fancy. That looks all right. Um, that looks all right. You probably wear it either way. I mean, wear them. Looks all right. Like that. Oh, I wouldn't bother tackling the look of this. I could put a belt around it. Could do that. Yeah, I'd go for the uh, the salifert then. Because it's so easy to do, the calcium one. Yeah. You know what I mean? Overall, the Red Sea's been good until I got this really weird test result. I don't know if it's the Hannah or the Red Sea that's buggery. That's the problem. I need to find a different brand to like check it. Yeah, I, just put, that's, I used to use the Red Sea all the time. Not yeah. because I think Red Sea are balanced, which I do, but I think the salifert is a lot better. Well, if the test works, the test works. Yeah, yeah. It's like the magnesium is a lot easier to do at all on the salad Yeah. Right, I'm going to mute to see Mark because he's a boom in. <laughs> I don't know what, let's go on a live stream and drill. He's smart, isn't he? Yeah, Gao, Gao. Um, on yours, like Hannah Phosphate and Alkalinity, definitely recommend calcium. Yeah, I don't know if I'd bother with that one to be honest. I told I told everyone straight away. I, I used it a couple of times, Devin. I thought, you know what? It's such and, a finicky uh, test, and the refills are. Hold it up. If you don't get that exact amount, which is what point? point you know what I mean? That's a drip of water. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's it's just too complicated. It's worth buying for phosphate and alkalinity, yes. Yeah, and I'd go for the phosphorus. And the DKH one in the in the KH of the DKH. Uh, right, I'm going to bed. Right. What is it, the cost of the out refills for the Hanna? For the out refills over here, eight quid. Or where well, Woody is, tenner. Uh, let me look. I'm curious. Eight eight pound the hour over here. 
That's not bad for like 30 tests or whatever. 25 in it. That's not bad. Yeah. That, that's okay. It's, okay. it's all right. right the digital so, need all tests. Yeah, it's, for me, it's fine. 25 weeks, because well, I only do it once a week. Wait, I am yeah. going to try doing it every day at the minute. Yeah, so it's 15, so 16 bucks for me. Yeah. Which is fine. Well, it's about, it's about, it's about the same, isn't it? Because it's only like two of your dollars to one of our pounds. Close, pretty much. Let's find out. <laughs> 1.7 or something. Something like that. Yeah, one second more. All right, it's going well so far. It's going to go even well because no one's going to find out how you've done because I'm shutting it down now. So, everybody, thanks for coming to the Test Tuesday. I'll see you again next Tuesday. Might do a stream during the week. I don't know. I don't care. But can you feel the love tonight? <laughs> if I do, I do. See you later. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> if we don't want it all. Right, yeah. Woody. Thanks for the stream, buddy. All right, no worries. See you later, mate. Yeah, see you later, mate. See, see you later, Woody. Later. See you later, Glitch. See you later, Black Redneck. See you later, Nat. See you later, Miss Me Fox. Go, go. Ozzy, Ozzy, and everyone else in the thing. See you later. See you all later, people. Bye-bye.